Kansas CUA and is an equal house lender. We're your hometown information station. FM 105.5 WIFO. Wayne County and the BC Cadets here at Benedictine High School. I want to thank our sponsor for allowing us to bring you the bringing this live play-by-play -play action here this afternoon. Sheffield's Trophies and Sports Shop, Wayne Memorial Hospital, Georgia Farm Bureau, Prime South Bank, Popple Farms, Sheriff Chuck Mosley, Southeastern Gin and Peanut, Clayton Homes of Hinesville, Tim's Home Medical, Magic Mattress, The Trademark, Interstate Credit Union, Banks Real Estate, Lighty's Body Shop, Altima Federal Credit Union, Wayne Drug Company, Captain Joe's Seafood Restaurant, Attorney Tracy Allen Brown, Mobile Concrete, Boykin Steel and Crane, and Robin Eubanks State Farm Agent, sponsor of our State Farm Insurance Inning. Didn't get any insurance runs last night, but hopefully we'll have the lead and get some insurance runs here today. Get the second win over BC, sweep them on Friday, and say bye-bye to the BC Cadets for the year 2024 in baseball. But again, Wayne County, a big win last night. Again, Gavin Mixon, the senior, steps up, pitches a complete game, three-hitter, a shutout, and Wayne County got one run in the first inning. That one run held up, and Wayne County won it by a final of 1-0. We'll be back with the first pitch. Wayne County and the BC Cadets here from Benedictine High School. First pitch is coming your way right after the timeouts. If you're a small business owner, you know what you mean to your customers. You're the local pro, a neighborhood problem solver, a person in their community they know will treat them right. State Farm agents are no different, and I'm Robin Eubanks, and I own a small business too, so I'm perfectly positioned to understand your needs and help you protect your small business. Stop in today and see me for your small business insurance, and as a longtime supporter of the Wayne County Yellow Jackets, we wish you a winning year. Building a home or business with 27 mixers and eight locations in southeast Georgia to serve you, Mobile Concrete has just what you need to ensure you have a rock-solid foundation. No job is too big or too small for Mobile Concrete. Mobile Concrete supplies ready mixed concrete for all residential plants are GDOT certified with Georgia DOT certified dispatchers at each plant location. Mobile Concrete now has locations in Allenhurst, Baxley, Brunswick, Darien, Glenville, Hayeshurst, Jessup, and Nahana. Mobile Concrete has you covered. They can also handle all your sand and gravel needs. Call today, 912-427-2330. Mobile Concrete says go Wayne County. At Sheffield Sports, we're dedicated to customer satisfaction. With the latest and greatest direct-to-film printing and new embroidery machines, we can meet all your apparel needs and more. Whether it's one or 10,000 needed, Sheffield's is the place to go. Sheffield's offers direct-to-film printing, custom screen printing, embroidery, yard signs, and more. If you can think it, come see us. Sheffield's is your one-stop shop for all your sports equipment and apparel needs. From cleats, bats, bat bags, gloves, helmets, and more, Sheffield's has it all. Football, softball, cross-country, volleyball, come get a quote for any printed apparel. Come visit Sheffield Sports at 50 and 16 West Orange Street in Jessup or give them a call at 912-427-2982. If you can think it, come see us at Sheffield's. Go Jackets! Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Hey, and that's your national anthem here at Benedictine High School, and we're set for baseball. Wayne County wins game one, one zero, game two here today. Game three, Friday, back at the Bow at Howard Bow Warren Field. Hopefully another good crowd. Good crowd last night that you're on the Yellow Jackets. Heck of a ball game. Again, both pitchers pitched extremely well. Gavin Mixon, Ashan, Landon Ludwig. And Ludwig gave up five hits, gave up that one run in the first inning, forgot nine. Gavin gives up three hits, gives up no runs, and strikes out seven. Wayne County wins 1-0 to stay unbeaten in region play with a record of 10-0. Today we're going to see Parker McCoy. Wayne County High School. Going to North Carolina. They tell us Landon Ludwood is going to a school in North Carolina as well, Davidson College. So, again, picture yesterday, that's where he's landed. He's going to Davidson College. That's up in North Carolina as well. But this Parker McCoy, he's basically their best player. And going to North Carolina baseball, everybody knows what kind of baseball program North Carolina has. So, he'll be on the mind here defensively for the – BC Cadets, third baseman is Bennett Conaway. Shortstop is 
Joseph Garner, second baseman is Omori Burst, first baseman Cole Walker. Behind the plate, the catcher is Mason Diamond, right fielder Jacob Sedelko, center fielder Ike Ross, left fielder Joyner Urich. First three hitters for Wayne County, Nick Thomas, Deacon Yeomans, Eli Grantham. We're about to get this thing underway. Wayne County in the black and gold jersey, gray pants, BC in a maroon jersey, white pants, their home uniform, big crowd on hand, both from Wayne County and Benedictine High School as we get set for this all important game number two. And Wayne County's trying to get to 11 0, give BC a fourth loss. If Southeast Bullet beats Burke today, Southeast Bullet will fall into second place in this region standings. And we got those guys next week, two of those three games over in Brooklyn, Georgia. But first things first, game two of this all in four series with the BC Cadets. Mr. Nick Thomas steps to the plate, right fielder for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Understand our good friend and catcher Tyler Wallen is back at the hospital, Wayne Memorial Hospital, but he's tuned in. So, Tyler, if you're listening, hope you enjoy the broadcast. We miss you. Can't wait to see you back in that dugout for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. So, get well. Be back soon. Everybody here wishing you nothing but the best. So, here we go. Nick Thomas, the lead off for Wayne County. Here's the stretch in the pitch. And it's called ball one. One ball, no strikes, overcast guys here at Benedictine. Again, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow here in the southeast part of the U.S. The pitch, there's a ball, hit the short center field. That may drop. It is going to drop. They said Nick Thomas, Thomas going to second base. There's no one at second base, and Lane tennis has got a leadoff double. Smart play, shortstop, center fielder, second baseman all went out there. The pitcher just stood and watched. No one covered second base, and Nick Thomas just took off the second base, and he's there with his double to start this ball game. A CNI double for Nick Thomas and a little blooper in short center field, but no one covered the bag at second base, and Nick Thomas took advantage. Wayne's got the leadoff man in scoring position with nobody out for Deacon Yeomans. So a great start here for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. A runner in scoring position, nobody out. Top of the first, just underway at Ben Dictine High School. Parker McCoy's pitch, and that's way up high. Ball one, one and oh. Open ball, no strikes. Nick Thomas at second base for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Deacon has that base hit, stolen base, run score back in the first. Deacon pops it up, short center field again, center fielder coming in. He's got it this time, and there's one away. One up, one or one away. Runner at second base for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets brings up third baseman Eli Grantham, another sophomore in this Wayne County lineup. Yeah. Wayne County, runner in scoring position, one down here in the top of the first inning for third baseman Eli Grantham. Time call as Parker McCoy resets. McCoy stares in, gets the sign from his catcher. The stretch in the pitch, and the down low in the dirt ball one. Nice block by the catcher, Mason Diamond. One ball, no strike count. To Eli Grantham just underway. Leadoff double for Nick Thomas. Rowan Blanton on deck. Top of the first, Wayne County batting. Here's to Eli. Eli hits a line drive down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble. It is a fair ball. Extra bases. Nick Thomas around third. They're going to wave him. He's going to score. Wayne County has a 1-0 loop. Back-to-back -back doubles here in the first inning. Eli Grantham places it down the right field corner. And Yellow Jackets on the board here in the first 1-0. Great start in game two for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Second hit of the game for Wayne County. First extra hit of the game. Here's Rowan Blant. He hit the big RBI single in last night's game in inning number one. And one zero after one inning, and that's how it ended last night. One zero final for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Here it's one zero. Still batting in the top of the first inning with a runner second base, only one out. Here's to Rowan Blanton. Rowan swings and misses strike one. No balls, one strike. Cade Lynn, today's pitcher for Wayne County, on deck. We're at Benedictine High School. Game two of this three-game set. Game three, Friday at Highland Bow Warren Field at 6 p.m. 
come pack the park Friday night. Come have a great time. Miguel Bell's got all the food in the concession stand, and come have a great time. No balls, one strike to Rowan Bland. Stretching the pitch. Down low in the dirt. Ball one, one and one. One ball, one strike, one out, one run in. Wayne County one, Benedictine zero. Here at the top of the first inning. Parker McCoy ready to stretch. The one one pitch. Round ball towards first, but foul. Chase Henson will foot it in the first base coach's box and the counts one and two. One ball, two strike count. Yeah, it's a one two count. Parker McCoy wants a new baseball. Our power obliges. Rowan Blanc steps back in that batter's box. One ball, two strike count, one down. Eli Grantham at second base. There's a stretch in the pitch, and there's a line drive. Eli around third, they're going to hold him up there as they get him quickly. Go home, runner going down to second base. Wayne got one of the second and third. Another base hit for the Yellow Jackets here in the first inning. Rowan Blanton singles the left field and heads to second base on the throw home to stop Eli Grantham from coming home. Wayne with runners at second and third for Cade Lynn, the base pitcher. Luke Carter will run at second base, courtesy runner for pitcher Rowan Blanton. So Rowan Blanton delivers. Wayne, runner second and third, one run in. Still just one eye and Jeb Craven on deck. And the Yellow Jackets make a stand here in inning number one. Again, Parker McCoy wants another baseball. Cade Lynn steps to the batter's box, right-handed batter. Eli Grantham at third, Rowan Blanton at second. One nothing Wayne County here in the top of the first inning in Benedictine at Benedictine High School. Here's the stretch in the pitch. That's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike, one out. One run in, one nothing Wayne County looking for more here in the first inning. Here's the stretch in the pitch. And that's in for strike two. Going to the cave man. Jeff Craven on deck. Then Garrison Grantham and Carson Shady. No balls, two strikes. The 0 2 pitch. There's a line drive. It's going to be a base hit. One run in. Going to hold the runner third. And Wayne County's got a 2 0 lead here in the first inning, still batting with two on, one out. Fourth hit of the inning for Wayne County. Cade Lynn delivers an RBI to left field. Here's Jeb Craven. Wayne County 2, BC 0. Jeb Craven to the plate. Second baseman for Wayne County. Garrison Grantham on deck. Parker McCoy ready to stretch the pitch. Don Lou, ball one, one and oh. One ball, no strikes. Runners at the corners, first and third for Wayne County here in the top of the first inning. Two nothing score. Yellow Jackets lead it. Here's the pitch. That's in for a strike. One and one. One ball, one strike. And left fielder senior Garrison Grantham on deck for Wayne County. Wayne having an inning here. Two runs in on four hits. Here's the pitch. Don Lillard gets by and ricochets right back. And will get by. Here comes the runner home and Luke Carter will score. And it's a 3 0 ball game. Heads up base running by Luke Carter. Wait to see where that ball ricocheted off this brick wall. And it ricocheted right by the catcher down towards the first base line. And Luke Carter comes home to score and makes it a 3 nothing ball game with the runner at second base. And a 2-1 count The Jim Freighton. 
two balls and one strike. One out, three runs in here in the first inning. Here's the stretch in the pitch, and it's in for a strike. Two and two to Jeff Craven. Two balls, two strikes, still just one out. Parker McCoy stares in. Here's the stretch in the 2 2 to Jeff Craven. And Jeff pops it up foul and out of play. And it stays two balls and two strikes to the young sophomore second baseman. Three nothing lead for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets here in the first inning at Benedictine High School. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Walker McCoy stares in. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Wow, base hit left field, maybe extra bases. It's up against the wall. Yeah, on his way to second, they're going to get in quickly. But a run is in, and it's a 4-0 ball game. Left fielder over there quickly, stopped it before he got to the wall, gets it in, holds it to a long single, but it's an RBI single with that. And it's a 4-0 ball game for Wayne County. Hit number five in the inning for the Yellow Jackets. Here's Garrison Grantham. Wayne, four runs on five hits here in the first, still batting one out. And Garrison Grantham, seventh man to bat, pitches in for a strike. No balls, one strike. Double by Thomas, double by Grantham, singles by Rowan Blanton, Cade Lynn, and Jeb Craven. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Swung on and foul back. Quickly, no balls and two strikes to Garrison Grantham. No balls, two strikes, one out. Parker McCoy stares in, a stretch, a pitch, a pod, ball one, one and two. Carson Shaver, senior first baseman on deck for Wayne County, and Palmer Lamb, senior center fielder. Seven, eight, nine, have yet to bat, but seven's at the plate with one out. And the runner at first, four, four runs in. A one-two pitch. Ball strike three, throw down second base, and they say it's safe at second base. Ball on base for Jeff Craven, but a strikeout to Garrison Granson, so there's two down in the inning. First strikeout in the game for Parker McCoy. And here's first baseman Carson Shaver, senior for the Yellow Jackets. Has a chance to make this a 5-0 ball game. Palmer Lamb, the number nine hitter on deck. What, a, what an inning for Wayne County. Again, Nick Thomas just hit a little flare out the short center field. Second baseman, shortstop center field, chased it. No one covered the bag. Nick Thomas hurt, hurt around the bag, got the second. Deacon fly out the center. Eli laced one down the corner in right field for a double. Rowan Blanton singles to the center. Caitlin singles to the left. And Jeb Craven singles to the left. And here's Carson Shaver with the runner at second, two down. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. First inning action, Wayne County four, the BC Cadets zero. Here in game two of this three-game set. Parker McCoy ready to stretch. The pitch. It'll check swing, ground ball to short. Four stops, got it. Throws to first base in time. We're not way in this first inning, but what an inning. What a start for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets on the road. Four runs, five hits, no errors, one runner left on base. Head to the bottom of the first inning. Score reads Wayne County four. BC Cadets coming to bat. Prime South is not a bank on Wall Street. We're more Main Street. But we're a bank of many stories. Stories of customers reaching for the sky. Community banks are the preferred lender of people building their success story and make two out of every three small business loans. Our local lenders know your name and your story, which means more flexibility to help you turn the page. Prime South Bank. Find your prime. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Southeastern Gin and Peanut wants to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jacks the best of luck this season. Says go Wayne County. Started back in 1995 with Cotton Gin, then in 2004 built Peanut Buying Point. 
Cy Fisher and Jen and Peanut buys peanuts from Premium Peanut in Douglas, Georgia, which they helped start back in 2015. For our cotton and peanut needs, simply call 912-366-0608. Cy Fisher and Jen and Peanut's proud sponsor and supporter of Wayne County Athletics. Cy Fisher and Jen and Peanut says go Wayne County. Once again, their number 912-366-0608. When it comes to winning in baseball, the home field advantage can give a team that winning edge. Hey, I'm Ricky Stringer. And I'm Peggy Hickey. We are your hometown realtors with Banks Real Estate. When it comes to selling your home or hunting for that dream home, using the hometown team will give you that winning edge. Come see us at Banks Real Estate at 462 East Cherry Street or call us at 912-559-2142. And go Yellow Jackets! We're your hometown information station, FM 105.5 WIFO. Head to the bottom of the first inning. Landon Ludwig leads it off for the D.C. Cadets, to be followed by Parker McCoy and Omari Burse. Kate Lynn on the mound for Wayne County. So the defense after this first pitch is down low ball one. Rowan Bland behind the plate. Carson Shaver first base. Jeff Craig at second base. Eli Grant in the third and Deacon Yeomans at short. Here's the 1-0 pitch. That's down low, ball two. Palmer Lamb in center field. Big Thomas in the right field, and Garrison Grantham in left field. Kate Lynn, junior pitcher, on the mound. Here's the one, the 2 0 pitch. That's swung on and fouled back. It's two balls and one strike. And Kate Lynn's had a great year on that mound for Wayne County, has yet to lose a ball game. Say that for a lot of these Wayne County pitchers. Right down our heart, flight two, two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Landon Ludwig. I'm going to first, four nothing Wayne County. And the pitch, breaking pitch, ground ball to short. Deacon Yeoman's got a back up through, long through. Those are by the first baseman. So runner on at first to start for BC. And a low throw, went in the dirt, went right by the first baseman. So an infield error to start the first inning. And the BC's got the leadoff batter on. Here's Parker McCoy, the pitcher at four, the BC Cadets. Kay Lynn will check the runner. Carson will hold him on the first base, throw to first base, run it back in time. Wayne four, BC zero here in the bottom of inning number one. Here's the stretch. So the first again, runner back in time. Four a zero lead for Wayne. Okay, man, ready the stretch. The pitch. We're in for a strike. The ball is one strike to Parker McCoy. Kay Lynn sitting ready. You know, one pitch. Ball one and one. One ball, one strike. Runner first, nobody out. The one one pitch. Round ball at the middle in the center field for a solid base hit. So BC starts with runners at first and second. Nobody out. First two batters on. First hit for the BC Cadets. And brings up Maury Burst, the second baseman. They'll get a runner for part of Hoyt, Tyler Brown, number one run at first base. So two on, nobody out. And Wayne looking for out number one in this inning. Umpire gets the change on the courtesy runner. Here we go. Runners first and second. Nobody out. Kay Lynn setting ready in the pitch. It's outside. Ball one. One and oh. One ball. No strikes. Nobody out. Two runners on base here for BC in the bottom of the first inning. There's the stretch. 
the pitch. There's a fly ball. We'll hit the left field. Grantham going back, looking up. This one is gone. The three run home run for Amari Burst into four three ball. Game. Just like that, the DC Cadets back in the ball game. In field air, base hit, the center, three run ball of the field wall. It's a 4 3 lead for Wayne County. Brings up Jacob Sidelko, the right fielder. So Caitlin resets here, four three ball game. Here's the wind, the pitch. It's in for a strike. No ball with one strike. Mason Diamond, the catcher on deck. Four three lead for Wayne. Here's the pitch. Did he go? They say he did not. One and one. One ball, one strike. The one one pitch. Line right field, but Nick Thomas is there. There's one away. One down in the first inning. There's Mason Diamond, shortstop for the BC Cadets. Nobody on base. 4 3 game. Wayne County, a three run home run by their second baseman, Amari Burse. Here's the one, the pitch. They can be playing for a strike. No balls, one strike. Okay, man, ready to wind. Yeah, one pitch. Break a pitch and put a ball, go to the ball, one point. Thought he brought the hand up, but he did not. One pitch. Down low, ball two, two and one. Two balls, one strike, two, one pitch. And first strike, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. The 2-2 two, two pitch. Little ground ball foul, and it stays even at 2-2. Two, two. In game three of the series, Friday night at Howard Bill Warnfield back in Jessup, Georgia. Two ball, two strike count, one down. Here's the 2-2 two, two pitch. Swing and a miss on a breaking pitch. And Ben has his first strike out of the ball game. Two down in the first for the BC Cadets. Cole Walker, the first baseman, to the plate for the BC Cadets. Bottom of the first, game schedule for seven. There's a pop up, short right center field. Palmer Lamb says he's got it. He does, and that ends the inning. But the BC Cadets strike for three in the first inning. In the inning, three runs, two hits. The big hit, a home run, three run bomb by Amari Burst. No errors, nobody left on base. We got one in the book at Benedictine High School. School reads Wayne County full, BC Cadets three. Got in a wreck, fender bender, or just sideswipe that yellow pole at Walmart? Lysi's Body Shop can fix it. Your car, your choice of body shop. Check out our Google reviews and our new website. We at Lysi Body Shop are proud to announce our new location, 98 Dr. Town Road in Jessup. That's 98 Dr. Town Road in Jessup, across from the Show Mart. We have rentals available for our collision customers. Call us today at 912-385-6193. That's 912-385-6193, where we make Make it look like it never happened. Light sees body shop. Sheriff Chuck Mosley and his staff want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season, hope they can bring back that state championship trophy. Sheriff Mosley has made a commitment to battle the drug dealers in Wayne County, and he and his team have joined forces with the Jessup PD for a joint task force in the war against drugs in Wayne County. But the department needs and wants your help. If you know or see any illegal drug activity, Sheriff Chuck Mosley encourages you to simply call the Sheriff's Department at 427-5970 or the Jessup PD at 427-1300. Sheriff Mosley asks that everyone do their part in helping fight the drugs in Wayne County. Sheriff Mosley again wishing the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. 
Wayne Memorial Hospital wishes the Yellow Jackets the best of luck as they pursue region and state championships. The hard work and dedication of our coaches and student athletes has been instrumental to your success. The staff at Wayne Memorial Hospital is also dedicated to providing and delivering the best possible health care to everyone who comes through our doors. We consider it an honor and a privilege to be entrusted with your health care needs. Caring for the community isn't just our motto. It's what we love to do. Wayne Memorial Hospital, the official health care provider of the Yellow Jackets. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Top of the second inning, Palmer Land leads it off for Wayne County. Here's the first pitch. Palmer pops it straight up in the air. Catcher behind home play. He says he's got it, and he does, and there's one away. Palmer fouls out of foul territory right behind home plate. One pitch, one out. Brings up the top of the order, and Nick Thomas, again, a smart Running play, he got himself a double in that first inning. Hit a little flare out short center field. Second baseman, shortstop center fielder, all converged. Couldn't get there. No one covered the bag at second base. And Nick Thomas just rounded first. Hit the second for the leadoff double and scored. And that was one of the four runs Wayne County did score. Bats here in the second inning. Wayne County leading 4 3. Again, I'm already burst with the three run home run in the bottom. Inning. It's four runs, five hits for Wayne County, three runs, two hits for BC after one inning of play. One ball, no strike count. The pitch to Nick Thomas. Swing, and this one a breaking pitch, one and one. One ball, one strike, one out. Parker McCoy, the one one pitch. One breaking pitch stays up high. Ball two, two and one. Deacon Yeoman's on deck for Wayne County. Jack is back here, top of the second. Game's good for seven. Oakland Associates post game show after the ball game. Here's the 2 1 pitch. And that's down low, ball three, three and one. Three balls, one strike to lead off batter Nick Thomas. That's here with nobody on, one out. Top of the second, Wayne four, BC three. Here's the 3 1 pitch. Swung off, out of play. Cap runs full to Nick Thomas, three balls and two strikes. Braves baseball later tonight. Braves the Mets once again from Atlanta. Join them as soon as this ball game's over. Full count, three balls, two strikes, one out. Parker McCoy set ready, the 3 2 pitch. And it's a line foul down the first baseline. And Nick Thomas stays alive, full count. Lead off double win the first quarter run. Bats here for the second time in the afternoon. Nice overcast sky day here again. Rain expected tomorrow. That's why they moved the game up to today. Smart move looking at the forecast because it looks like it's going to rain most of the day on Thursday, but it's supposed to get out here by Friday. So, Lincoln should be in good shape Friday night at Highland Bow Warren Field to close out this series. 3 2 pitch, down low ball forward. Thomas is aboard for the second time in this ball game. A one out walk. To start the second inning for Wayne County. Here's Deacon Yeomans fly out the center field his first time up. Again, Deacon had the winning run scored last night in the first inning in a 1 0 win for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Parker McCoy ready to stretch pitch down low in the dirt, ball one. 1 0. I want to thank Coach John Mooring. Special guest today on the Butch and Bob show. Very informative show. Talking about putting staff together. Exciting times, new football coach, Coach John Mooring. You know, looking forward to the spring practices and the spring game and the upcoming football season. Throw to first base, Nick Thomas, back in time. And the uh, interview is posted on our website. You go to the World Wide Web, check the Butch and Bob show, and it's on the website. You can listen to it if you missed it this morning. The 1 0 pitch, ground ball up the middle in the center field for a base hit. Nick Thomas will stop at second base. Solid single for Deacon Yeomans. Another hit to the Wayne County Yellow Jaggers. That's hit number six in this ball game. And here's Eli Grant, who doubled down the right field corner his first time up, drove in a run, scored a run in that first inning. <laughs> so the Yellow Jaggers, six hits already, four runs. Runners first and second, one out here in a second for Eli Grantham. Number three hitter, third baseman. And again, he's got good power, too. He gets it up over that left field wall. He can knock it out of here. And a little short porch fence here at BC. 
pitches rolling outside, ball one, yeah, not as deep. There's a lot of ballparks. So we've got a chance to get up and out of here at this ballpark. One ball, no strikes, one out. The 1 0 pitch to Eli. Eli is a fly ball, will hit right field. Right fielder drifts back, has room, makes the catch. Nick Thomas is going to tag. He's going to come to third. And the main thing is, runners at the corners, but two down in the air. Will hit ball, just stayed up in the air a little bit for Eli. Two outs in the inning, brings up Rowan Bland. He had a base hit. RBI run score back in that first inning. Chance of driving around here, but he needs a two out hit. Runners at the corners. Deacon's got great speed, so I'm sure they're going to turn him loose here. Try to get him down there at second base. Some guys just have talent at stealing bases. Deacon just seems to get a great jump every time. He's not going. There's a long drive, base in left field. Run in. Rowan Bland rips one down the left field corner. Left fielder gets it over in time. Holds him to a single. Rowan's two for two. Another RBI. Second RBI for Rowan Bland. And Wayne County extends the lead to 5-2. Or 5-3. I'm sorry. 5-3. It was 4-3. Now it's 5-3. Nick was good at math. Anyway, 5-3. Wayne County's got the lead. Runners at first and second. And here is Cade Lynn. Cade Lynn, a base hit. Run scored back in the first inning. Lou Carter scored the run as he was a courtesy runner for the pitcher. Wayne County, a big two-out hit to make this a 5-3 ball game. Runners first and second, 2-9 for Cade Lynn. Here's the stretch in the pitch. And it's inside. And hits the umpire right on the inside of the leg or inside the chest. Hopefully he's okay. He's trying to walk it off. And that hurt. And he's leaned up against this wall, and I got a trainer and a second base umpire trying to come check him out. I think he just got the wind knocked out of him, but man, that was a hate to see that. He's still walking it off, and everybody's just hoping he's okay. Trainer from BC out to check on him, and that ball came right in. Nobody touched it, hit him right off the chest. Got one of those inside chest protectors, but I don't think it did much. To help and he still leaned over and trying to get some breath here. I'm sure they got a backup umpire if the umpire gets hurt, but he's pulling to his chest and still trying to walk this off. And that definitely hurt her just watching it. But apparently he's going to hang in here. Pitch is definitely a ball. Going out of to cave in. He's talking to a BC coach, and I said he's definitely going to hang in here, but that definitely hurt. And ball came right in. Catcher for BC totally missed it. It just went right off his chest. But he's going to hang in there. So we're about to get back to the action here. And Kate Leno steps. He probably gives him a nice run of the ball. I'm sure no one feels worse than the catcher for BC, Mason Donner. He's trying to tell him. <laughs> And he's patting on the back saying things like that happen. But, and Diamond just missed it totally and just ricocheted right off the umpire's chest. Here's Kate Lynn. One ball, no strikes. Runners at second and third for Wayne County. Two down in the inning. Chance to extend this lead with the base hit by Kate Lynn. Here's the pitch. And he's on the outside corner. Strike one on 21. Jeff Craven on deck for Wayne County. Jack is batting in the top of the second. Scored four in the first. It scored one thus far here in the second. Lead 5-3 at Benedictine High School in game two of this three-game set. Here's the stretch. The pitch. That's down on the dirt ball, two. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Two down in the inning. Wayne County batting here in the second inning.
Here's the stretch. And the 2 1 upon my ball 3 3 and Three balls, one strike, two outs. Runners at second and third for Wayne County here in the top of the second, up 5 3. Three ball, one strike count to Caitlin. The pitch foul back, and it's a full count, three and two. Full count, three balls, two strikes. Runners lead second and third. Yeah, Luke Carter running for Rowan Bland at second base. Deacon Yeoman's down there at third base. Full count, three balls, two strikes, two outs. Walker McCoy stares in. The 3 2 pitch. Line, right field, right to the right field. Right number three. Well hit ball, but it hung up and goes right to the right fielder to end the inning. In the inning, though, Wink County adds a run. One run. On two hits, no errors. We strand two. We go to the bottom of the second from Benedictine High School. Score reads Wayne County 5, the BC Cadets 3. Sometimes an expense comes up that you can't put off. Because life happens, consider Interstate Credit Union your financial backup plan. Find out how quick and simple it is to pay for the expenses that come up with a low-rate loan. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at interstatecu.org for an affordable way to get the cash that you need. Apply today and experience a better way to bank with Interstate Credit Union. Branch is conveniently located in Jessup, Baxley, Brunswick, Hazelhurst, Midway, and now Douglas. Federally insured by NCUA and Equal Housing Lender. Hopple Farms opened their summer farm market in 1995, selling locally grown fresh produce to the folks in Wayne and surrounding counties. They're continuing that tradition and will be opening later this spring with a full line of fresh vegetables, locally grown beef, pork, and chicken, provided by Hunter Cattle Company. The store will also be stocked with Georgia grown jams, jellies, preserves, and fresh baked breads. Don't forget to visit the sweet shop, ham dips, blue bill, ice cream cones, and milkshakes. Go to Wayne County's favorite to buy fresh produce. Spring summer hours of operation will be announced soon. As Popper Farms and Odom, check out their Facebook, popplefarms.com. Attention, Yellow Jacket fans. With spring fast approaching, that means baseball season is getting into full swing. That also means it's garden time. The trademark carries a wide variety of garden seed, plants, and flowers, along with mulch, pine straw, and fertilizer. So when you start planting those flowers in the yard or getting that garden ready, Come see us at the Trademark across from the drive-in or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. And go get them, Jackets. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Bottom of the second inning, Cade Lynn out there for second inning work. He'll face 7-8-9 here in the second inning. Joseph Garner, the shortstop, leads it off. First pitch to strike. Second pitch, foul ball out of play. Luckily, no balls and two strikes. So Garner leads it off. He'll be followed by Ike Ross, center fielder, and Joyner Erick, the left fielder. 0-2 pitch by Kate Lynn. Nice breaking pitch down the dirt, but outside. One ball, two strikes. My three lead for Wayne here in the bottom of inning number two at Benedictine High School. Nice overcast sky day. It just, just missed two and two. Wow, what a good looking pick. Two balls, two strikes. Cade Lynn set and ready. Here's the one, the two two pitch. Looking pitch again, misses ball three, and now the count runs full. Three balls, two strikes. Full count, three balls, two strikes. Cade Lynn's three two pitch. Lost in ball four. Lead off one. Let's start the second for BC. Tough break there. Had him 0-2 and loses him. That's not what you want to see. That's not characteristic of Cade Lynn. And he's going to be. Throws nothing but strikes. Here's Ike Ross. Hasn't been as sharp as I've seen him in the past on his mind early here. There's the stretch and the pitch. They swear to bunt, pull back, and they call that pitch a ball outside. 1-0. <laughs> one ball, no strikes. The one zero pitch again. They square to bunt. They bunt foul. And the count evens at one and one. 
One ball, one strike. Ike Ross, their center fielder at the plate, uh, called as Sid Royal on the way to the mound to talk to Caitlin. <laughs> Glenn would join in on the conversation. Just joining us, Wayne kind of jumped out to a nice 4 0 lead, but their second baseman, Lamar, reversed a three run bomb to left to make it a 4 3 ball game. Wayne County's had to run here in the top six to make it 5 3, and that's where we stand here in the bottom of inning number two with the leadoff batter on. And nobody out. And the 1 1 count to center fielder Ike Ross. Conversation on the mind comes to an end. Sid Royal back to the dugout. And Ike Ross steps to the plate. One ball, one strike out to him. Junior pitcher Cade Lynn on the mind today for Wayne County. Here on the road at Benedictine High School. Here's the stretch. The one-one pitch again. They squared a bunt, and they pulled back, and they call that pitch a ball. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out. Okay, Lynn ready. The two-one pitch, and they bunt this one. They bunt foul again. The count evens a two-two. Two balls, two strikes to Ike Ross. Their left fielder, Joyner Eric, is on deck. 2-2 two, two count. Bunt's taken off here with a two-strike count. The 2-2 two, two pitch. Fly ball right field. Nick Thomas is there. He's got it. And it's one away. And brings up that left fielder number nine here, Joyner Eric. Yurik, okay, Yurik is how they pronounce it. Donor Yurik, left fielder, Landon Ludwig on deck with the leadoff batter. One down, one on. Kate Lynn ready to pitch. And first strike, the ball's one strike, good pitch there. No balls, one strike, one out. The one pitch. Round ball, right side, second baseman Craven it over. Nice play. What a play by number two. Austin Shavers keeps his foot on the bag. Craven takes a base hit away from Yurick. And that's out number two. Runner goes to second base. Nice play at second base by Jeff Craven. What range got over there and takes a base hit away. That ball was hit at the right field. Super play by our second baseman for out number two. Here's Ludwig, the leadoff batter. Reached on an error back in inning number one and scored on that three-run home run by Omari Burse. There's a pitch in for a strike. No balls, one strike. So two down, a runner at second. Leadoff batter Ludwig at the plate. Caitlin ready to stretch the pitch. Swung on, fouled back. And that's no ball and two-strike count to the leadoff batter. Great. Defensive play. Again, that would have been runners at first and second, at least, maybe first and third. Here's the OT pitch. Little check swing. Foul ball by the Wayne County dugout. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Okay, man said ready the O2 pitch. Ground ball. That fair foul, it's a foul ball. Foul ball past the first base bag. And it remains no balls and two strikes. Again, Ludwig and McCoy and Burst top three hitters pretty strong in his BC lineup. Other than that, it kind of tapers off. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Cade Lynn stares in, set ready. Another 0-2 pitch on the way. Little ground ball chopper to third, but again, a foul ball. And it stays 0 and 2 to Landon Ludwig. Okay. Five runs, seven hits for the Wayne County Yellow Jaggers. Three runs, two hits for the Cadets. No balls, two strikes, two outs. 
go to pitch, breaking pitch down the dirt. I blocked by Rowan Bland. So one ball, two strike count. One and two the count. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of the second, 5-3 lead for Wayne County. We'll stretch in a 1-2 pitch on the way. Line drive. That's going to be a base hit right deal. They're going to send the runner. They're going to hold him. Nick Thomas gets it in quickly. They're going to hold the runner at third. So they got runners at the corner. But they got Parker McCoy coming to the plate. Parker. That's why they didn't gamble with the runner coming home because they feel confident McCoy's going to deliver here. McCoy with a base hit his first time up. Again, this kid's going to North Carolina on a baseball scholarship. UNC. Two down, two on. Bottom of the second, 5-3 lead for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. And Caitlin and Wayne County will try to get this third and final out of this inning. So Maury first, the three-run home run man on deck. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Breaking pitch misses out Sinai ball. 1-0. Wayne five, Benedictine three. Ty runs are on. Parker McCoy, the go ahead runner at home plate. You're in the second inning. Runners first and third. The 1 0 pitch. Popped him up. Infield. Jeff Craven, Deacon Yeomans. Deacon Yeoman says he's got it. He does. And that ends the inning. Big out. Here in the second inning. In the inning, BC Cadets come up empty. No runs. One hits. No errors. They strand two. Head to a third inning from Benedictine High School. Score reads Wayne County 5, BC Cadets 3. As a busy wife and mother, I'm all about convenience. If it can make my life a little easier or save me time, well, it's hard to put a price on that. That's one of the things I love most about Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. I can get everything I need. Auto, home, life, even banking all in one place. Throw in a local agent who's always there for me, and that's why I choose Georgia Farm Bureau. Always the home team. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit us online at gfbinsurance.com. Clayton Homes of Hyattsville has 100% customer satisfaction ratings. We offer land home packages as well as home only. Energy saving homes, five-year home protection plans. We have so much more to offer. We take the hassle out of buying a home, and we work hard to get you in your new home. Come see us at 1207 West Oglethorpe Highway, Hinesville, Georgia, or call Blake, Pam, or Joey at 912-333-9100. Wayne Drug Company is more than a pharmacy. They are your neighbor. Have been for over 50 years. Wayne Drug offers competitive pricing, no long waits, and free delivery within the city limits. They will be glad to serve you and answer any questions. Fast, accurate prescription service with a drive through window. Wayne Drug is also a drive through payment center for Georgia Power, Satilla EMC, DirecTV, AT&T, and many more. Your neighborhood pharmacy, Wayne Drug Company, 192 North 1st Street, in Jessup. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. We head to the top of the third inning here at Benedict Benedictine High School. Jeff Craven, Garrison Grantham, and Carson Shaver for the Jackets here in the third. Wayne County leads at 5-3 as we head to the third inning. Game scheduled for seven. Game two of the three game set. Game three, reminder, Friday night at the Bow. Come join us again. Miguel Bell has got all the refreshments in the concession stand. Come hungry. Come have a good time. Come support the Wayne County Yellow Jackets Friday night as we look for a sweep after we get the second game here today at BC. Jeff Craven leads it off. Single stolen base back in the first inning. And it's a fly ball high and deep. A foul on out of play down the left field line. No balls. One strike to Jeb Craven. It made a fine defensive play back in that top or bottom of that second inning to save a run. Here's the stretch. The 0-1. Down low ball one. One and one. And game two of the series. Wayne won game one last night. 1-0 at the bow. Cap and Mixon complete game shutout. Three hitter. A heck of a performance by the senior. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Swung on, fouled out of play, count one and two to Jeb Craven. Senior left over Garrison Grantham on deck. Then with third, 
game schedule for seven. Oakland Associates post game show after the ball game here this afternoon and Braves baseball. One ball, two strikes. There's the stretch, the one two pitch. That's outside of the ball two. Masters gets underway Thursday through Sunday. Georgia spring football game Saturday at one o'clock in Athens. Two balls and two strikes to Jeb Craven. Parker McCoy's 2 2 pitch has popped up infield. Short stop makes the catch. Then the at bat, one up, one down for Wayne County in the third. Good Pearson Grantham strikeout victim back in the first inning. Wayne, four runs in the first, two in the second. BC with that three run home run in the first. That's where we're staying. 5 3 here in the third inning. Wayne County batting one out, nobody on. Stretching the pitch to Garrison Grantham, way up high and outside. Ball 1 0. Barson Shaver, our senior first baseman on deck for Wayne County. 5 3 ball game. Parker McCoy, the pitcher for BC, will stretch the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss strike one, one and one. One ball, one strike, one out. Parker McCoy said ready to one one to Garrison Grantham. And Garrison swings and fouls it at home plate. The count one and two to Garrison Grantham. One ball, two strikes, one out. <laughs> Wayne County five, Benedictine three, game two of this three game set. You know, Wayne trying to go to 11 0 in the region play, get BC a fourth loss. It's the stretch, one two pitch, small foul straight back. Southeast Bullet Point for us here today again. We win and they win today at Burke County. They move into second place in the region standings. And the BC Cadets would fall at third, third major on the road in round one of the state playoffs. One ball, two strikes, one out. The one two pitch inside blow of all of two. Two and two to Garrison Grant. And wait, what's that number one spot? Because they know rounds one and two will be at the house no matter what. And it all depends on where you see it in that bracket, coin flips, things like that. But those first two rounds are important, especially that home field advantage at Howard Bell Warren Field. Coach McDonald talked about it one day on the Butch and Bob show. Unique place, Wayne County, when they pack that park. It's a very intimidating place for opposing players. Here's the pitch. There's a line drive right field. It's going to be caught by the right field. Another hard hit ball. The right two, an outfielder for the BC Cadets. There's two away. Two up, two down, and third. Here's Carson Shaver, grounded out to short back in the first inning. Five, three ball game. Yellow Jackets on top. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Ball is popped up in the air. Right side of the infield. Second baseman, Amari Burst, says he's got he does. There's three up, three down for Wayne County in the third. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left on base. Head to the bottom half of the third at BC High School. Score remains Wayne County 5, BC Cadets 3. It's baseball season, and we're right there cheering them on. Altamaha Federal Credit Union is a proud longtime supporter of our Wayne County baseball team. Go Yellow Jackets! Altamaha Federal Credit Union is your credit union for baseball season and beyond. No matter what financial curveballs life throws at you, we can help guide you to home plate. Stop by one of our AFCU branches in Jessup, Scriven, or Ludowisi and see the good we can do for you. Altamaha Federal Credit Union is insured by NCUA and is an equal housing lender. Jim Boykin and Boykin Steel and Crane wish the Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. And Boykin Steel and Crane's legacy will make your foundation stronger as they specialize in steel fabrication, industrial maintenance, steel erection, crane rentals, and concrete. Boykin Steel and Crane in operation in Justin, Wayne County since 1972. Jim Boykin has taken over the family business and continues to do what's best for his community. Boykin Steel and Crane located on the Savannah Highway in Jessup. The number to call is 427-7751. Boykin Steel and Crane, again, wishing the Yellow Jackets the best of luck. If you need a mattress, come see us today at 
Magic mattress. You need home furniture. We roam the way. Magic mattress. Come on down to Magic mattress. Stop on by or call us today. Two five six R E S T. Two five six seven three seven eight. For a comfortable mattress and quality furniture, shop Magic Mattress and Home Furniture. 114 Allison Street, Jessup, across from AT&T near Walmart. Magic Mattress and Home Furniture, Jessup. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Move to the bottom half of the third inning. Omari Burst leading off for BC. He'll be followed by the cleanup hitter, Jacob Sedelko, and then Mason Dinah. Three or you know, three, four, and five here in the third for BC. Nice breaking pitch in for a strike. Again, Amari Burst at the three run home run on the left field wall his first time up. The 0 1 pitch. Another breaking pitch. Down low, ball one. One and one. Cave Lynn on for the third inning work here. Leads at 5 3. Here's the 1 1 pitch. And for a strike, good fastball. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Okay, it's a one-two pitch. This is two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Okay, land ready. That's the sign from Rowan Bland, the two-two pitch. Breaking pitch, swung on, just got a piece of it. Stays alive at 2-2. Jacob Sedelko on deck, the right field, and then Mason Dime. Anybody gets aboard Cole Walker here in the third for the BC Cadets. 2-2, the count. 5-3 score. Wayne County leads it. The 2-2 pitch. The ground ball to Eli Grantham. Grantham's got it. Throws the first base in time. There's one away. Nice play by Eli. All the way for that high chopper to come down, but makes a good throw over across the diamond. And there's one going third for the BC Cadets. It was Jacob Sedelko flying out to right field his first time up. Okay, Lynn stares in. He's set. Here's the pitch. Going outside, ball one. One and oh. Again, we're seated right behind home plate. Got a good view of this ball game. Okay, Lynn's one oh pitch. That's outside, ball two, two and oh. Okay, Lynn. Slipped and fell, coming off the mine and rolled his ankle. That's the last thing you want to see right there. Cade Lynn went to plant and it just rolled, and he is trying to walk it off here. So the question is, can Cade Lynn continue here? Last thing you want to see. Coach Royals out there, Coach McDonald's out there, Rowan Bland's out there. <laughs> Definitely roll that ankle. The question is how bad did you roll it? Okay, Ben said he wants to continue with their good activity up in the Wayne County Bowl. We're going to see Kate Lincoln throw here. Getting a few warm up tosses here. And he says he's ready to go. So Kate Lincoln gives it the thumbs up, says he can continue. Counts two balls, no strikes, one out, nobody on here in the bottom half of the third inning. Wayne County leading at 5 3. Jacob Sedelko at the plate for Wayne County. Here's the wine, the pitch, and it's low ball one, two and one. Two, I'm sorry, three, three oh, the count. The count was two and now it's three oh, the pitch. That's in for strike three and one is the count. Three and one, the count for Jacob Sedelko with one out. Here in the bottom of the third inning, the three one pitch. Line center field, base hit. Armor Lamb gets it in quickly with a solid base hit for Sedelko. And that's hit. Number four for the BC Cadets. Yeah, 
brings up Mason Diamond. Okay, Lynn ready to stretch the pitch. Slow on that side ball. Lane five, BC three, bottom of the third inning. Runner on, one out. Shortstop, or catcher, I'm sorry, Mason Diamond at the plate. The 1 0 pitch. Line drive left field. That's going to be a full base hit. Palmer Lamb trying to dive. Where he chase off the glove. Grantham's got to chase it. Runner going to third. They got runners at second and third. One out. Palmer at the last minute tried to make a dive and catch, and it ricochets off his glove, and Grantham had to go chase it. So a runner at second and third for the BC Cadets. Time runs in scoring position. Time called as Coach Warder on his way to the mine. Again, we'll see if they make a move here with Kay Lynn or what we're going to do here. I'm not sure if we've got to call them to be pit or not. Wait and see what they're going to do here. Still haven't seen any move here. Runners in scoring position. It looks like they're going to stay with Kate Lynn for the time being here. But activity done in that bullpen for Wayne County getting ready. Coming to the plate is Cole Walker, first baseman for the Cadets. Runners lead second and third, one down, five three ball game. Time called as the ball came onto the field. And here we go. Caitlin sitting ready. Here's the wind, the pitch. Swing and a miss like one. No balls, one strike. Deal one pitch, line drive, base hit center field. One run in, they're going to send the second runner. Nope, they're going to hold him up. It's a 5 4 game. That's three straight hits for the BC Cadets in this inning. Run in, make it a 5 4 ball game. And come to the plate is Joseph Garner, the shortstop. And Rowan Bland not to talk, and I believe this is going to be all for Kate Lynn. So, again, I believe we got a call to the bullpen. As Rowan Bland's looking at there, Kate Lynn's looking at there. Hasn't seen a coach come out just yet, though. But I'm sure they are. Here comes Coach McDonald. So, we do got a call to the bullpen. We'll take a break. You score. Wayne County 5, BC 4. We'll tell you who the new pitcher is when we come back after the timeouts. When a legal battle comes your way, you want the best team in that courthouse. Our jackets take the field prepared and ready to go. And like the jackets, we stay prepared for any legal challenge. Now, we might not answer the phone in the shower, and it might take more than one call, maybe even two. But we're ready to fight for you. If you or your loved one has been injured or you're facing any other legal battle, give us a call. Tracy Allen Brown, 912-427-2504 or www.uniquebrown.com. Come on down to Captain Joe's Seafood, a local family-owned business where we have been serving the community the freshest seafood for nearly 50 years. Here at Captain Joe's, we treat everyone as a captain should be treated with our great, friendly service and our delicious meals. Also, try our fresh salad bar that would knock the boots off of any pirate. We are conveniently open Tuesday through Sunday, 11 to 9, in Baxley, Waycross, Jessup, and Midway. We can't wait to see you here. Captain Joe's is a proud sponsor of the Wayne County baseball team. Go Yellow Jackets! Check out the new Tim's Home Medical. New location, larger inventory. Tim's Home Medical, now located at 980 South, U.S. Highway 301 in Jessup, just to the left of Reinhardt's. They are dedicated to helping you with all your medical supplies and equipment needs, including Medicare chargeable items. Most are in stock, many can be delivered. Your health is their priority at Tim's Home Medical, now located on 301 South in Jessup, just to the left of Reinhardt's. Tim's Home Medical. 
We're your hometown information station. FM 105.5 WIFO. Wayne County has gone to the bullpen, and the new pitcher coming in is junior right-hander Tate Altman. Tate, pitcher with runners on base, only one out. 5-4 lead for Wayne County. They got runners at the corners, first and third. I'll see if Tate can hold this lead here in this third inning. And those runners on base, favorite to Cade Lynn. Cade Lynn stays in the game as a DH, and he'll bat for Tate, for Tate Altman in this spot in that lineup. So it's just a change from the pitcher to the DH, and Tate Altman moves into the mile here. It was a stretch in the pitch from Tate Altman. It was great upon they run up an air. It's a foul ball off the screen. They try to suicide squeeze the tie and run in. Snowball, one strike count with Joseph Garner. Five, four lead for Wayne County. So we're going to hang on to the lead here in the bottom half of the third. There's the stretch. The 0 1 pitch popped up foul and drifting out of play. And snowballs and two strikes to Joseph Garner, the shortstop for. The BC Cadets. They've got runners at the corners. They got a run in here. It's a five-four lead for Wayne County. Tate Altman trying to put out the fire. No balls. Two strike count. The O2 pitch, the breaking pitch popped up again. Foul out of play, and it stays 0 and two. No balls. Two strikes. One out. The 0-2 pitch, breaking pitch again, foul out of play, stays 0-2. No ball, two strikes, one out, runners at the corners. The 0-2 pitch from Tate Altman, fastball down low, 1-2. and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runners lead first and third. Bottom of third, five, four Yellow Jackets. The stretch and the one, two pitch. Pass down low, ball two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Tate Altman stares in the stretch. The two, two pitch. Breaking pitch, ground ball to Eli. Runner coming home. They throw home, and he is a pissed up. He was out of home, though. Great job by Rowan Blant. Good job by Eli Grantham to come home to get that out. Out number two. Nice block at the plate by Rowan Blant. Held on to the ball. Runners at first and second. Two down for Ike Ross. Good heads-up play by third baseman Eli Grantham. Again, he just continues to impress. Knew exactly what was coming when he saw the runner break and threw a perfect strike to Rowan Blanton. Rowan blocking the plate nicely, held on to the ball, and it's an out-at-home plate. Great defensive play by the Yellow Jackets that right now hold on to that 5-4 lead. Runners first and second now with two odds for center fielder Lake Ross. Tate Altman ready to stretch. The pitch popped him up center field. This should get us out of it. Keep the main, keep the lead, and Palmer's got it. Great job again by Tate Altman putting out the fire to get those final two eyes. But in the inning, they get one run on three straight hits, no errors. They strand two. We've got three in the book. We got another good one going here. This one at Benedictine High School. Score reads: Wayne County five, the BC Cadets four. At Sheffield Sports, we're dedicated to customer satisfaction. With the latest and greatest direct-to-film printing and new embroidery machines, we can meet all your apparel needs and more. Whether it's one or 10,000 needed, Sheffield's is the place to go. Sheffield's offers direct-to-film printing, custom screen printing, embroidery, yard signs, and more. If you can think it, come see us. Sheffield's is your one-stop shop for all your sports equipment and apparel needs. From cleats, 
bats, bat bags, gloves, helmets, and more, Sheffields has it all. Football, softball, cross country, volleyball, come get a quote for any printed apparel. Come visit Sheffield Sports at 15 and 16 West Orange Street in Jessup or give them a call at 912-427-2982. If you can think it, come see us at Sheffield's. Go Jackets! Building a home or business with 27 mixers and eight locations in southeast Georgia to serve you, Mobile Concrete has just what you need to ensure you have a rock-solid foundation. No job is too big or too small for Mobile Concrete. Mobile Concrete supplies ready-mixed concrete for all residential and commercial jobs. All Mobile Concrete plants are GDOT certified with Georgia DOT certified dispatchers at each plant location. Mobile Concrete now has locations in Allenhurst, Baxley, Brunswick, Darien, Glenville, Hayeshurst, Jessup, and Nahana. Mobile Concrete has you covered. They can also handle all your sand and gravel needs. Call today, 912-427-2330. Mobile Concrete says go Wayne County. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Home of the fourth, Palmer Lamb leads it off for Wayne County. And first pitch inside, almost hit him. One ball, no strikes. Palmer popped out in foul territory behind home plate here back in the second inning. Five, four lead for Wayne County. Five runs, seven hits for the Yellow Jackets. Four runs, six hits for the BC Cadets as we head to the fourth. The game scheduled for seven. The 1 0 pitch inside and high ball to 2 and 0 to Palmer Lamb. Two balls, no strikes. Time call is the catcher. Yells out something to the pitcher. 2 0 count to Palmer Lamb. A stretch, the 2 0 pitch. And for a strike, 2 and 1. Two balls, one strike. Lead off batter here in the fourth of Wayne County, Palmer Lamb. Then the top order, Nick Thomas. It's the 2 1 pitch, way up high, ball three, and it's three and one. Chance to get the lead on better on here in the fourth inning. And Palmer's got a good eye. Three ball, one strike count to him. There's the stretch, 3 1 pitch, swing and a miss strike two. It's a full count to Palmer Lamb. Full count, three balls, two strikes. McCoy cool ready the pitch. Swung on and fouled out of play. And the count remains full 3 2. Parker McCoy, right handed pitcher for the BC Cadets, on for his fourth inning of work here. Trails 5 4. Yellow Jackets with the lead. A full run first inning, added a run in the second. 3 2 pitch to Palmer Lamb. And Palmer pops it up. Foul territory again, and it's going to be out of play. So Palmer still alive here. Does that bat to lead off the fourth inning? Senior center fielder for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. It's a full count. Three ball, two strike count to Palmer. Full count, three balls, two strikes. Here's the stretch. Three two pitch. Round ball, short stop, back hand, long throw. Can he get him? No. Palmer Lamb beats it out. In field hit. And Wayne County's got the leadoff batter on. Good hustle by Palmer Lamb. Deep in the hole with short. Short stop made a backhanded play, but could not get the speedy Palmer Lamb. And Wayne County has another hit in the book. Hit number eight. And here's the top of the order, Nick Thomas, doubled and won't score two runs. So another good start to an inning here. Leadoff batter on here in the top of the fourth. Chance to increase this lead. First base, runner back in time. Bang, bang, play, snap throw, but Palmer gets back in. Nick Thomas, attended batter, leadoff batter for Wayne County. Runner on, nobody out. Stretch the pitch and for a strike. No balls, one strike. Deacon Yeoman's on deck and then Eli Grantham. Five runs, eight hits for Wayne County. Four runs, six hits for the BC Cadets. Going to the fourth inning here, top half. Runner on, nobody out. 
Florida first base again, and Palmer back in plenty of time this time. And Palmer's got excellent speed, so he may have that green light to get the second. Here's the stretch. Throw the first again, and Palmer again back in time. McCoy thinks he's going, that's for sure. Coach McDonald flashing a bunch of signs down there at third base coach's box. Here's the stretch. The 0-1. That's up high. Ball one. One and one. One ball, one strike count to Nick Thomas, junior right fielder for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. The McCoy setting ready to stretch the 1-1 one, one pitch. High ball two, two and one. Two balls, one strike, nobody out, top of the fourth. Jack has lead 5-4, got the leadoff batter on, infield hit by Palmer Lamb. There's this stretch, the 2-1, oh, strike two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Palmer stand, Palmer Lamb at first base, see if they send him here on the 2-2 count. The 2 2 pitch. There's a fly ball. Well hit center field. Center fielder has room, though. Deeps for the ball. Park. Makes the catch in front of the fence. And Palmer's got to retreat back to first base. One down in the fourth for Wayne County. And he pulls that ball to right field. It's a two run home run, but unfortunately, hit it to the deepest part of the ballpark here in center. And here's Deacon Yeomans. Deacon one for two. Singled in the second inning, flat out to center in the first inning. Bats here with a runner on and one out. Now we'll see if they try to get Palmer in the scoring position. McCoy's thrown over there several times. Here's the stretch, the pitch. And Deacon squares the bunt, bunt's foul. And some no balls. One strike to Deacon Yeomans. Eli Grantham on deck. 5-4 lead for Wayne County. Game two of the three-game set here at Benedictine High School on a Wednesday afternoon. Masters Golf Tournament kicks off tomorrow at the par three contest today. But again, forecast doesn't look good for tomorrow. Palmer leads for first base. Here's the stretch. Throw to first base, runner back in time. Deacon Gilman's no ball, one strike count. Here's the stretch, the 0 1 pitch. Deacon line drive right field, but right to the right fielder again. Another well hit ball, but again, a right to an outfielder for out number two. And here's Eli Grantham, double down the right field corner in the first and scored a run, fly out to right in the second. So Palmer still at first base, two down. See if they turn him loose now, two down. Eli Grantham at the plate. Rowan Blanton on deck having a good day, two for two. Here's the stretch of the pitch to Eli. The runner's going now, so down to second base. It's not in time. Palmer's got a stolen base. Excellent speed. And Palmer Lamb, another stolen base for Palmer. Wayne County's got the runner in scoring position with two down. Need to, now need a two out hit by Eli Grantham. To extend this lead to 6 4. One ball, no strike count to Eli Grantham, third baseman for Wayne County, sophomore class. Here's the stretch. The 1 0 pitch. Round ball right back to the pitcher McCoy, flips to first base in time. That'll end the fourth inning for Wayne County. In the inning, Wayne comes up empty, no runs, one hit, no errors. A runner left, head to the bottom of the fourth here from Benedictine High School. Score remains Wayne County 5, BC Cadets 4. If you're a small business owner in Wayne County, think about everything you need to help your business succeed. You need a plan, happy customers, steady cash flow, and an insurance agent that gets you. I'm State Farm Agent Robin Eubanks, and I run a small business in Wayne County, too. And I understand the unique needs of local business owners. I will make it easy to choose the right protection at the right price, because one thing you don't need is insurance stress. Call me today, Robin Eubanks, for your small business needs. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.
Fisher and Gin and Peanut wants to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jacks the best of luck this season. Says go Wayne County. Started back in 1995 with Cotton Gin, then in 2004 built Peanut Buying Point. South Fisher and Gin and Peanut buys peanuts from Premium Peanut in Douglas, Georgia, which they helped start back in 2015. For our cotton and peanut needs, simply call 912-366-0608. South Fisher and Gin and Peanut's proud sponsor and supporter of Wayne County Athletics. South Fisher and Gin and Peanut says go Wayne County. Once again, their number 912-366-0608. How do you know you're in a community and not just a town? Well, strangers smile as they walk by. They refill your coffee without you asking. And when you ask directions, people offer to walk you there. Communities give more. The way you know when you walk into Prime South Bank that you are in a real community bank. More products, more access to your lenders, more technology. Don't have an account. Have a community with Prime South. Find your Prime. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. We're your hometown information station, FM 105.5 WIFO. Bottom of the fourth, nine, one, and two for the BC Cadets. Tate Altman on for his second inning of work. Again, came on and got out of the jam in the third inning, but now on it here with a 5 4 advantage facing Joyner Yurick. And he hits a foul ball out of play. It kind of evens at one and one. Joyner Urich, then Landon Ludwig, and Parker McCoy. Nine, one, and two here in the fourth to face Tate Altman. One ball, one strike count. Tate ready, the one, one pitch. Popped him up, fouled out of play, one and two. Tate Altman hitting the count. One ball, two strike count. Here's his one, the one, two pitch. Popped him up infield. Tate Altman says he's got it. And now first baseman Carson Shea was going to take it. And there's one down. Good job, Carson. Get the pitcher they got out of there. One up, one down in the fourth inning for the BC Cadets. Here's Landon Ludwig. He is one for two. He reached on an air and scored in the first and singled in the second. Tate Altman said ready. All right-hander ready to one pitch. Or the first pitch is down low, ball one, one and oh. One oh count. Junior pitcher, Tate Altman. Here's the one, the one oh pitch. Last ball, swung on and missed. And it's one and one. Parker McCoy on deck for the BC Cadets. They're batting here in the bottom of the fourth. Game schedule for seven. Five, four lead for Wayne County. Tate Altman's 1-1 one, one pitch. There's a fly ball right center field. That's trouble. That's in the gap up against the fence for extra bases. It was on his way to second, and he'll hold there with the stand-up double. The time runner at second base with one down here in the bottom of the fourth of the BC Cadets. Here's Parker McCoy. Six hit in the game for the BC Cadets. So Tate will try to prevent that runner from scoring here. But a good hitter in Parker McCoy. Here's the stretch in the pitch. And that's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. No balls, one strike, one out. Tate Altman stares in, ready with the sign. The 0 1 pitch. Five ball, one, one and one. One ball and one strike. Amari Burris, who had three run home run back in the first, is on deck for the BC Cadets. One ball, one strike count here. Runner at second base, one down. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. Wayne County leading it by a score of 5 4. Time called as McCoy steps out of the batter's box. One ball, one strike count to him. Tate Altman said, ready. The pitch, breaking pitch for him for strike, one and two. Good looking pitch, one ball, two strikes, one out. Big guy, Tate Altman can get him here. Here's the stretch and the one-two pitch. 
on its way. Fly ball foul out of play and stays one and two. Call is Rowan Bland out to have a chat with Tate Altman. Take him a brand new baseball. Here we go. One ball, two strikes, one out. Tate Allman stares in. Has the sign that he wants. Shakes off the sign. Here we go. From the stretch. One, two count. On its way. Breaking pitch. This missed. Two and two. Two ball, two strike count. For Parker McCoy. 5 4 lead for Yellow Jackets of Wayne County here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Tate Altman stares in. Again, gets the sign from Rowan Blanton. Checks the runner at second base to stretch. The 2 2 pitch popped him up foul and out of play, and it stays 2 2. Good inside fastball that time by Tate Altman. We're in the fourth game, schedule for seven. Braves baseball after that. Braves the Mets once again tonight from Atlanta. Tate Altman again from the stretch. The 2 2. Breaking pitch, ground ball, hit the shortstop. Deacon Yeomans. Deacon's got it long through. We're saying safe at first base. They had to wait on the short hop instead of charging it, and it cost them. They've got runners at the corner. So it goes an infield hit. Again, need to come get that on the high hop. He waited for the short hop, and it cost him. They've got runners at the corners at first and third for Omari Burse. They had the three run home run back in E number one, popped out to short. Let's take it back. He grounded up to third baseman Eli Grantham in inning number three. One for two. So the tying run at third base, a go hit runner at first base, still just one down. And Tate Altman sitting ready to stretch. Runners go and pitch. Line drive. Fair ball down the left field corner. Two runs are going to score. And they've got the lead. Six five here in the fourth inning. And they sent McCoy on the pitch, hit and run, and burst dribble. I mean, drives it down in the left field corner for his second extra base of the day. Double in the corner, two runs in, and just like that, it's a six-five lead for the BC Cadets here at Benedictine High School. But a lot of baseball yet to be played here in this one. Okay. Here's Jacob Sedelka, right fielder. Tate with his stretch, the pitch that's popped up. Center fielder Palmer Lamb is going to make this catch, and there's two down. Runner tagging, but Palmer's throw to third, right on the money. And first will stay at second base. Next up, the catcher, 22, right side. So two down. Here's Mason Diamond, the catcher. He had a double his last time up and struck out in the first inning. So the BC Cadets have taken the lead here. They've got six runs on eight hits. Wayne County's got five runs on eight hits. Two down here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Tate Altman stares in. The stretch. And the pitch, runner going to third, throw down to third. It is not in time. We'll throw to the left field, and they're going to score another run. Clean final throws it in the left field. Old thing, you throw it more in than you throw out. They should have just let first have that third base fight. Yeah, great jump. No chance to get them. And just throw it wide at third base and let them come home. And they take a two-run lead, 7-5, scored now. One ball, no strike count. State Altman ready to wind the pitch. Down low, ball two, two and oh. Two 
Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Tom calls. It takes way too much time and unusual because Tate's normally throwing quickly, but he's taking a lot of time between pitches, which hasn't seen all year long. There's the wind, the pitch. I mean, that's outside, ball three, three and up. Normally he gets the ball back, and he's coming right back to home play. But for some reason this afternoon, he's taking a lot of time between pitches. I mean, there's the 3-0 pitch. And that's the end for a strike, three and one. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Again, taking a lot of time. Here's the wind, the 3-1 pitch. Popped a foul to play. Kind of runs four to three and two. So can three balls, two strikes, two outs. Seven five lead for the BC Cadets here in the bottom of the floor. Three run fourth. Ball was hit to third baseman Eli Grantham. Grantham's throw to first base every time. And the inning over. But a big inning for the BC Cadets. They score three runs on three hits, two of them doubles. No errors, nobody left on base. We go to the fifth new score. BC Cadets lead it by a score of seven to five. Got a wreck, fender bender, or just sideswipe that yellow pole at Walmart? Lysi's Body Shop can fix it. Your car, your choice of body shop. Check out our Google reviews and our new website. We at Lysi Body Shop are proud to announce our new location, 98 Dr. Town Road in Jessup. That's 98 Dr. Town Road in Jessup, across from the Show Mart. We have rentals available for our collision customers. Call us today at 912-385-6193. That's 912-385-6193, where we make it look like it never happened. Lightsey's Body Shop. Sheriff Chuck Mosley and his staff want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. Hope they can bring back that state championship trophy. Sheriff Mosley has made a commitment to battle the drug dealers in Wayne County, and he and his team have joined forces with the Jessup PD for a joint task force in the war against drugs in Wayne County. But the department needs and wants your help. If you know or see any illegal drug activity, Sheriff Chuck Mosley encourages you to simply call the Sheriff's Department at 427-5970 or the Jessup PD at 427-1300. Sheriff Mosley asks that everyone do their part in helping fight the drugs in Wayne County. Sheriff Mosley again wishing the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. When it comes to winning in baseball, the home field advantage can give a team that winning edge. Hey, I'm Ricky Stringer. And I'm Peggy Hickey. We are your hometown realtors with Banks Real Estate. When it comes to selling your home or hunting for that dream home, using the hometown team will give you that winning edge. Come see us at Banks Real Estate at 462 East Cherry Street or call us at 912-559-2142. And go Yellow Jackets! Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. We move to the top of the fifth inning. Wayne County sends up Rowan Blatt and Cade Lynn and Jeb Craven here to face Parker McCoy. BC Cadets with their first lead of the day. They lead 7-5 here as we go to the fifth inning. And Rowan Blant, who's two for two, a single and a double, leads it off to Wayne County. Jay's been on deck. There's a stretch in the pitch. Fouled away. No balls. One strike to Rowan Blant. We're in the fifth inning, top half. Here at Benedictine High School, the BC Cadets lead it 7-5. So the four run lead is gone. The five three lead is gone. Foul trail seven five. Breaking takes out from the ball one and one. But again, a lot of baseball yet. Three more frames to go here. This game's falling from over. One ball, one strike count. Here's the stretch and the pitch. And there's a line drive right to the center fielder for out number one. And last time the Yellow Jackets thrilled was that third game against the Islands, 2-0, came back and won that ball game. So we'll see how they go here in this ball game here on the road at BC. Here's Cade Lynn, and stays in as the DH bat now for Tate Altman, the pitcher. Cade Lynn singled and flying out to right field, one for two. And there's a stretch in the pitch, and it's throwing outside, ball one, one and up. Jeb Craven on deck. 7-5 lead for the BC Cadets. 
here at Benedictine High School Game 3. The series set for Friday back at Howard Bow Warren Field. One ball and no strike count. The stretch, the pitch. That ball is hit high the center field. That's the can of corn there for the center fielder. And there's two down. Two down in the fifth for Wayne County. Yeah, we'll and brings it up Jacob Bowen. Jeb Craven, one for two, singled in the first and popped out to short in the third. <laughs> Jeb Craven comes to play with two down here. Nobody on at the fifth inning top half for Wayne County. 7-5 lead for the BC Cadets here at Benedictine High School. There's the stretch and the pitch. Side and side ball one. One to Jim. Garrison Grantham on deck for Wayne County. We're in the fifth. Game scheduled for seven. I'm on the road here at Benedictine High School. No game tomorrow. Game three Friday at home at Howard Bow Warren Field. And we close it out with the Southeast Bullet series. Pitch is down low, ball to 2 0 to Jeff. And Wayne at 10 0 in region play. BC and Southeast Bullet each at 7 3 heading into today's play. Southeast Bullet playing Burke. They beat them 12 0 yesterday. Pitch inside, ball 3 3 0 to Jeff Craven. McCoy ready. There he steps off and resets. 3 0 count to Jeb Craven. Two outs, nobody on here in the fifth inning. Wayne trails 7 to 5. The pitch. And it's inside of the time. The ball four, and Jeb Craven draws a walk. So, by a little two out lightning here. Second walk in the game by McCoy. Here's Grantham. He struck out in the first, line out to right in the third, 0 for 2. So the time when it comes to the play here in the fifth inning, Wayne County trailing 7-5. There's the pitch to Garrison. And that's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. Carson Shaver on deck for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. No balls, one strike, a stretch. For the first base, Jeff Craven back in time. No balls, one strike, two outs. Yeah, one pitch, swing, and a strike two. Good fastball by Parker McCoy. And just one strike out in the game for McCoy. But we did a lot of balls right at the outfield. Hard hit balls, they're right out. Go to first base, runner back in time. No ball, two strikes, two outs. Top of the fifth, game scheduled for seven here at Benedictine High School. Parker McCoy ready to stretch the 0-2. There's a fly ball, but again, well hit. But again, the deepest part of the ballpark, center field. Center fielder tracks it down, and three balls to center field for three outs in the fifth. No runs, no hits, no errors. Runner left on base. We hit to the bottom of the fifth. Score remains. Benedictine 7, Wayne County 5. I'm Haley, a high school student, and I have my own interstate credit union checking account with a debit card. I even got to use one of my own pictures on it. Of course, my parents get alerts on everything I spend, and they set up rules on where I can use my debit card, but it is helping me learn about finances, and better yet, I get to do it my own way on my phone and through the Interstate Mobile Banking app. To learn more about Interstate Credit Union's Scholar Checking, call 800-822-1124 or go online at interstatecu.org. Experience a better way to bank with Interstate Credit Union. Branch is conveniently located in Jessup, Baxley, Brunswick, Hazelhurst, Midway, and now Douglas, federally insured by NCUA. 
attention, Yellow Jacket fans. With spring fast approaching, that means baseball season is getting into full swing. That also means it's garden time. The trademark carries a wide variety of garden seed, plants, and flowers, along with mulch, pine straw, and fertilizer. So when you start planting those flowers in the yard or getting that garden ready, come see us at the trademark across from the drive-in or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. And go get them, Jackets. Wayne Memorial Hospital wishes the Yellow Jackets the best of luck as they pursue region and state championships. The hard work and dedication of our coaches and student athletes has been instrumental to your success. The staff at Wayne Memorial Hospital is also dedicated to providing and delivering the best possible health care to everyone who comes through our doors. We consider it an honor and a privilege to be entrusted with your health care needs. Caring for the community isn't just our motto, it's what we love to do. Wayne Memorial Hospital, the official health care provider of the Yellow Jackets. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Wayne County changes pitchers. Rowan Bland in there now. The first pitch is the hit batter. Gunner Campbell, the new pitcher for Wayne County. So a hit batter to start the bottom of the fifth on the first pitch thrown by Rowan Bland. So Rowan on in relief. Gunner Campbell in the ball game behind the plate. A little bad in the Kate Lynn spot and run up the number five spot. So a runner on, nobody out. And here's the pitch. Nice word of bunt, bunt foul. Again, Cole Walker got hit by the pitch. Joseph Garner, the shortstop up. This is number seven hitter at six, seven, eight. BC leads at seven, five here in the bottom of the fifth inning in the second ball game of the series. Lane trying to stay unbeaten. But right now, trail 7-5. Runner on, nobody out. Rowan, again, they square to bunt the pitch, and they do bunt right back to Eli. Eli goes to second base in time, throw to first, double play. Wayne County turns a double play here in the bottom of 15. Great job by Eli. Feels the bunt, throws to short, throws to first. Five, six, three, double play. Nobody on two odds for Ike Ross. Uh, nice play by the Yellow Jacket defense. Another play by that third baseman, Eli Grantham. Here's the switch or the pitch. There's another round ball to Eli. Eli's got it. Throws the first base in time. In the over. Quick shift in here for BC. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. Time to go get them here in the sixth. Score reads BC 7, Wayne County 5. As a busy wife and mother, I'm all about convenience. If it can make my life a little easier or save me time, well, it's hard to put a price on that. That's one of the things I love most about Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. I can get everything I need. Auto, home, life, even banking all in one place. Throw in a local agent who's always there for me, and that's why I choose Georgia Farm Bureau. Always the home team. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit us online at gfbinsurance.com. Hopple Farms opened their summer farm market in 1995, selling locally grown fresh produce to the folks in Wayne and surrounding counties. They're continuing that tradition and will be opening later this spring with a full line of fresh vegetables, locally grown beef, pork, and chicken provided by Hunter Cattle Company. The store will also be stocked with Georgia-grown jams, jellies, preserves, and fresh-baked breads. Don't forget to visit the sweet shop, hand-dipped Bluebell ice cream cones and milkshakes. Go to Wayne County's favorite to buy fresh produce. Spring summer hours of operation will be announced soon. That's Popper Farms in Odom. Check out their Facebook, popplefarms.com. Clayton Homes of Hinesville has 100% customer satisfaction ratings. We offer land home packages as well as home only. Energy saving homes, five-year home protection plans. We have so much more to offer. We take the hassle out of buying a home, and we work hard to get you in your new home. Come see us at 1207 West Oglethorpe Highway, Hinesville, Georgia, or call Blake, Pam, or Joey at 912-333-9100. We're your hometown information station, FM 105.5 WIFO. We move to the sixth inning here, 8-9-1 for Wayne County. Carson Shaver, Palmer Lamb, Nick Thomas face Parker McCoy. Yellow Jackets down by a couple runs with a couple of frames left. So we go to the sixth game, schedule seven. Wayne County 10-0 in region play, trying to stay 10-0, but BC trying to 
change that here with a two-run lead with two frames to go. See how it plays out here. Here's Carson Shaver to lead off for Wayne County. Both for two, grounded out and popped out the second base. Here's the pitch to him. It's up high, ball down, one and oh. Top of the six, game scheduled for seven. Oakland Associates post game show after the ball game. Game three, Friday night at the Bow. Come join us, pack the park. Check out the concession stand. Miguel bale has got it rocking and rolling there. All kinds of great food in there at the ballpark on Friday night. Here's the stretch in the pitch. That's in for a strike, one and one. One and one, the Carson Shaver, Palmer Lamb on deck, and then Nick Thomas. Seven five lead for the BC Cadets here in the sixth inning. Parker McCoy ready to one one to Carson Shaver. Way up high ball to two and one. They just eight nine batter on in the top of the order. Let's see if we can get Carson and Palmer on base here. Two one count to Carson Shaver. Top of the six. Game scheduled for seven seven five lead for the BC Cadets. Parker McCoy ready to stretch the two one pitch. And he for a strike two and two. Two two count, the senior first baseman Carson Shaver. Here's the stretch, the two two pitch, a pile of ball through the four count. Chance to get the lead on batter on here in the top of the sixth inning. Big payout pitch coming from Parker McCoy. Full count, three balls, two strikes. Payout pitch. Swung on and fouled straight back. Carson stays alive. Jackets need base runners and runs here in his sixth inning. Got to regain this lead. Down by two, seven five on the road at Benedictine High School. BC trying to hand Wayne County kind of their first region loss of the season. Jack is trying to change it here in the final two frames. Here's the stretch. The three-two pitch, strike three call. Right behind the heart. Parson doesn't pull the string. There's a little gone. Moving away. Here's Palmer Lamb. Palmer popped out in foul territory and had an infield hit and stolen base in the fourth. He's one for two. Only the second strike out of the game for Parker McCoy. There's the stretch and the pitch to Palmer. Palmer swings and fouls a straight back. No balls, one strike. Nick Thomas on deck. Then Deacon Yeomans and hopefully Eli Grantham. Yeah, Wayne County needs base runners in the runs here. Down by a couple runs. Top of the sixth inning on the road at Benedictine High School. 7-5 lead for the Cadets. No ball, one strike count to Palmer Lamb. Here's the stretch and the pitch. It's out some like ball one and one. One ball, one strike, one out. One one count the Palmer Lamb. Parker McCoy sitting ready to stretch the 1-1. One, one. Solid ball, 2-2. Two, two balls, one strike, one ounce. Here's the stretch. 2-1. Two, it's in for strike, 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, one ounce. Parker McCoy stares in, 2-2 two, two count to Palmer Lane. Palmer pops it up, foul territory, drifting into the stand, into the bleachers. The count stays even at 2-2 two, two to Palmer Lane. Again, we know BC plays New Hampshire next week, so we're going to know how many losses they're going to have after this series on Friday. Right now they got three. Wayne County hope to give them five before we get done. But, again, they're going to win three games next week. Wayne and Southeast Bullock got a battle next week. So, no, that's where BC is going to stand after Friday. But I know how many losses they've got. So, right now they got three. 
and they play us at home on Friday. They're winning here, but this game far from over. Full count to Palmer Lamb. Three ball, two strike count. Another payoff pitch. That's five ball four. None kind of better run around. Palmer Lamb walks to first base. Third walk in the game by McCoy. Here's Nick Thomas. Nick Thomas one for two. Doubled in the first and scored. Walked in the second and scored. Fly out to center field in the fourth inning. Again, I see Nick Thomas take that ball over this right center field fence. He can do it. Time running at home plate here in the top of the sixth inning and a five, or sorry, a seven five lead for BC. Here's the stretch and the pitch, and it's down low, ball one and oh. Deacon Yeoman's on deck for Wayne County, and Eli Grantham. Jack is trying to rally here in the sixth inning, down by two. He stretched the 1 0 pitch inside the most hitting ball to 2 0. And yeah, well, McCoy is starting to wear down here. And she gets late in his ball game, taking a stroll behind the pitcher's mind, looking at that dugout. Not sure what the pitch count is for him, but maybe we can get to him here in this sixth inning. Two ball, no strike count. Nick Thomas at the plate, Palmer at first base with good speed. The 2 0 pitch. In for a strike, two and one. Two balls, one striker, leadoff hitter, Nick Thomas. One down in the inning, top of the six, trailing by two, seven, five. Here's the stretch, the two, one pitch. So the first base, Palmer Lamb back in time. And you got to be careful. Last thing you want to see is a picked off base runner here in this tight ball game. Two ball, one strike count, one out. The two one pitch from Parker McCoy. Oh, it's strike two. Two and two. Two two count. See if they turn Palmer loose. Thomas is a great hitter to hit the run with here. Be a good time for it. Two ball, two strike count. Palmer's not going. The old ground ball over the pitcher's mind. Going to be a tough play. Short stop. Charges. Did he get him? No, he did not. Nick Thomas beats it out. Infield hit. Going to get running to first and second here in the sixth inning. Little chopper over the pitcher's mound and a shortstop charge, but can't get Thomas. Thomas has an infield hit, a second hit of the game. And Wayne's in business here with runners at first and second. Time runs on. One eye for Deacon Yeomans. And the coach on his way to mine, and that's going to be all for Parker McCoy. We got a call to the bullpen. We'll take the new pitchers when we come back. Score reads BC 7, Lane County 5. We'll take the new pitchers when we come back after the timeout. When a legal battle comes your way, you want the best team in that courthouse. Our jackets take the field prepared and ready to go. And like the jackets, we stay prepared for any legal challenge. Now, we might not answer the phone in the shower, and it might take more than one call, maybe even two. But we're ready to fight for you. If you or your loved one has been injured or you're facing any other legal battle, give us a call. Tracy Allen Brown, 912-427-2504 or www.uneedbrown.com. Kim Boykin of Boykin Steel and Crane wish the Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. And Boykin Steel and Crane's legacy will make your foundation stronger as they specialize in steel fabrication, industrial maintenance, steel erection, crane rentals, and concrete. Boykin Steel and Crane in operation in Justin and Wayne County since 1972. Jim Boykin has taken over the family business and continues to do what's best for his community. Boykin Steel and Crane located on Miss Fanna Highway in Jessup. The number to call is 427-7751. Boykin Steel and Crane, again, wishing the Yellow Jackets the best of luck. Wayne Drug Company is more than a pharmacy. They are your neighbor. Have been for over 50 years. Wayne Drug offers competitive pricing, no long waits, and free delivery within the city limits. They will be glad to serve you and answer any questions. Fast, accurate prescription service with a drive through window. Wayne Drug is also a drive through payment center for Georgia Power, Satilla EMC, DirecTV, AT&T, and many more. Your neighborhood pharmacy, Wayne Drug Company, 192 North 1st Street, in Jessup. We're your hometown information station. FM 105.5 WIFO. Welcome back. The new pitcher, right-hander, sidewinder, TJ Windsor for the BC Cadets. So he comes out of the bullpen. 
McCoy stays in the ball game here. It is day on the mind. Just through those two runners on base are his responsibility, so he can win it. He cannot lose it. Deacon Yeoman, C.Y. Grantham, possibly Rowan Bland, all going to get a shot here to get Wayne County even or take the lead here in this sixth inning. Deacon Yeomans fly out to center, single in the second, and fly out to right in the fourth. Fly ball to center came in the first at bat in the first inning. So tension again mining here. Wayne County's unbeaten region the record on the line here in the sixth, down by two, seven, five score runner on base. The time runners are on Palmer Lamb at second, Nick Thomas at first for Deacon Yeomans. Short stop for the Yellow Jackets against T.J. Windsor. Here's the stretch and the pitch, and Deacon fouls it out of play. No balls, one strike. Line drive out of play. No ball, one strike count to Deacon Yeomans. Wayne trying to rally here in the sixth inning. Top half, trailing by 2-7-5. Yo one on the way to Deacon Yeomans. And Deacon, it's a fly ball, but right to the center fielder for out number two. Two down in the end. Another fly ball right to an outfielder. We've seen that all afternoon here in Savannah. So up to Eli Grantham. Grantham doubled in the first down the right field corner, fly out to right, and bounced out to the pitcher. Two big runners out there on scoring position, or one in scoring position. Both runners, the time runs on base. Two outs, though, in the inning. Need a hit by Eli Grantham. T.J. Windsor stares in, taking a lot of time. Now he's set ready. Here's the pitch, and it's in for a strike. No balls, one strike. 7-5 lead for the B.C. Cadets here in the top of the sixth inning. Two on, two out for Wayne. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Brown ball, slow roller short, going to be a tough play, and they're not going to get a play. Team field hit, bases loaded. Wayne County has the bases loaded. We've got the tie runs in scoring position at second and third. Potential winning run at first base now for Wayne County. Hitting number 10 in the game for the Yellow Jackets. And here's Rowan Bland, now the pitcher for Wayne County. Chance to help his own cause. Chance to get everybody off the hook and get him in the win column. Big momentum swing here. Bases loaded, two odds. Time run at second. Go ahead and run at first base. Palmer Lamb at third base. And a 7 5 lead for BC. The pitch to Rowan Bland. He's okay. in for ball one, one and oh. Cade Lynn on deck for Wayne County. Yeah, going to re-enter for Gunnar Campbell. One ball, no strikes, two outs. 1-0 to Rowan Blanton. Ball, 2-0. Two, two, and oh. two balls and no strikes, nowhere to put them. A walk's a 7-6 ball game. Two ball, no strike count, the stretch. The 2-0 pitch. Popped up foul and out of play. It's two and one to Rowan Blant. Need something down in that corner. Oh, that third base bag. The base is clearing the double would be sweet. Two balls, one strike count, two down. The stretch, the two one to Rowan Blant. It's low ball three. Three and one. Now you got to be patient here. Make him throw a strike. Three ball, one strike count to Rowan Bland. Big 3-1 pitch from T.J. Windsor here. On its way. And foul straight back. So it's a full count. Full count. Three ball, two strikes, two outs. Base is loaded. Top of the sixth. Jack is trailed by a couple runs here. 7-5 lead for the B.C. Cadets. Big, big opportunity for the Wayne County Yellow Jays. Can they cash in here? Full count for Rowan Blant. 3-2 from the stretch. And the pitch. 
Oh, strike three. Inside clock. And the inning comes to a close. In the inning, Wayne County, no runs, two hits, no errors. We strand three, and we go to the bottom of six, and it's a 7-5 lead. It's baseball season, and we're right there cheering them on. Altamaha Federal Credit Union is a proud longtime supporter of our Wayne County baseball team. Go Yellow Jackets! Altamaha Federal Credit Union is your credit union for baseball season and beyond. No matter what financial curveballs life throws at you, we can help guide you to home plate. Stop by one of our AFCU branches in Jessup, Scriven, or Ludowisi and see the good we can do for you. Altamaha Federal Credit Union is insured by NCUA and is an equal house lender. If you need a mattress, come see us today. A magic mattress, you need home furniture. We're on the way. Magic mattress, come on down to Magic Mattress. Stop on by or call us today. 256-R-E-S-T-256-7378. For a comfortable mattress and quality furniture, shop Magic Mattress and Home Furniture. 114 Allison Street, Jessup, across from AT&T near Walmart. Magic Mattress and Home Furniture, Jessup. Come on down to Captain Joe's Seafood, a local family-owned business where we have been serving the community the freshest seafood for nearly 50 years. Here at Captain Joe's, we treat everyone as a captain should be treated with our great, friendly service and our delicious meals. Also, try our fresh salad bar that would knock the boots off of any pirate. We are conveniently open Tuesday through Sunday, 11 to 9, in Baxley, Waycross, Jessup, and Midway. We can't wait to see you here. Captain Joe's is a proud sponsor of the Wayne County baseball team. Go Yellow Jackets! Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Bottom of the 16th inning, 9-1-2 and two to face Rowan Bland. BC still leads at 7-5 here. Rowan Bland on the mind here, trying to keep this a 7-5 game. Here's the wind, the pitch. Looks like the uh, ball is one strong. No balls, one strike. Here's the wind, the 0 1 pitch. Inside ball, one, one and one. Words were exchanged at the end of that inning again when they got the call, third strike. Someone in that dugout, one of them coaches said something, and Coach McDonald was walking off, you know, like what was said. And there was an exchange of words, fingers pointed, umpires having to separate. So. It's getting a little tense here at the ballpark at BC. One ball, two strike count. Rowan Blant ready, the one two pitch. Outside ball two, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody on, nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And here's the one, the pitch. Swing the miss. It's One down in the sixth. They've been at Dick High School. There's Landon Ludwig. He's had a good day. Been on base on three times. Scored two runs as a double, a single. Reached on an air. It was two for three. There's a fly ball, center field. Palmer Lamb come in, can't get there. Full hockey. Good base hit. Landon Ludwig. Landon Ludwig. And they've hit double digit. Both teams double digit hits now. Five runs, ten hits for Wayne. Seven runs, ten hits for the BC Cadets. One on, one out for Parker McCoy. Stayed in the ball game. He's now at third base. And Owen Bland sent ready the stretch, the pitch. And the strike. One strike. No balls, one strike, one out. Seven five lead for the BC Cadets here in the bottom of the sixth inning. The O one pitch. I saw gets away from gonna tamble. The runner will move up to the second base. It's a big run out there at second base here in the bottom of the sixth inning. The two run lead. 
Wayne County can even afford to let that runner score, but Omari uh, Burst is on the break, and he's had the day for the BC Cadets. Here's the stretch and the pitch. Yeah. And the run and the key here is get Parker McCoy, put Amari Burst on first base, and then get the next guy for the third and final. Well, that's what I would do anyway. I would not let Amari Burst bat with that run scoring position, but go get McCoy first. Second base umpire calls a bonk. And Coach McDonald trying to find out what the call is here. And so Coach McDonald's going to come out and get an explanation here. Roland Bland says he seems to know what he did wrong. But Coach McDonald gets the explanation. He's headed back to the dugout. So whatever Roland did, he knows he did something wrong. And the runners at third base on a ball call. Again, that's a huge insurance run here for BC here in the bottom of the sixth inning and a 7-5 lead for the cadets. Here's a big one-two pitch on the way. Down low, nice block by Gunnar Campbell to keep that ball from getting by him. With a two-ball, two-strike count. 2-2 two -two to Parker McCoy. Bottom of the sixth, runner third, one down. Rowan Bland setting ready to stretch and the 2 2 pitch. Yes, and pick all three. Three and two. So the count. Three balls, two strikes, one out. The 3 2 pitch. Two down. Here's a Maury Burst. And first base is open. I, I promise you, folks, I'm putting this kid on. Three run home run, double, two for three. First base open. I want to pitch with him with the guy at third base because that run scores is going to be huge. He's a breaking pitch in the first try. So we're going after him. Hopefully it pays off. But this kid's had a day. Three run home run in the first. Two run double in the fourth. Bats here with a runner third, two outs. Six is down low, ball one, one and one. One ball, one strike, two outs. Bottom of the six, seven five lead for the BC Cadets. Here's the stretch and the one one pitch. In the start, one and two. One ball, two strikes, two outs. The one two pitch. Down low, ball two, two and two. Two ball, two strikes. The guy on deck's 0 for three, Jacob Sedelko. Two ball, two strike count. A 2 2 pitch. Popped up foul and out of play. Count stays even at 2 2. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. 7 5 lead for the BC Cadets. Here's the 2 2 pitch. Outside and high, ball three, three and two. Full count, three balls. Two strikes, two outs. The three-two pitch, and he lost the ball for the play. An unintentional, intentional walk. I still like the fact he's not going to swing a bat. Yeah, but try our luck with Jacob Sedelko. It was zero for three on the day. Flat out three times, twice to center, once to right. Still a big insurance run again. Wayne's got to prevent that runner from scoring here. We're two runs down, we go to this final frame, but that's a bloop and a blast from a tie. Three run lead, a big difference. Got to get this out, throw the first base runner back in time. 
And Shirley comes to burst down to second base. Gunner Campbell pulling out some defensive strategy here. Got to get this batter here. Rolling Bland set ready to stretch the pitch. Swing and miss, Leonard Dolan. We bluffed the throw down lines. Leonard's at second and third. There's a no one count to Sedelco. Again, just get Sedelco and go to work. And it's top seven with his bat rack here. Got to get him here. No ball, one strike count. The 0 1 pitch. Down low, ball, one and one. Nice block by him, but the ball almost got by it. One ball, one strike, two outs, seven five lead for the BC Cadets. Here's a stretch in the one one pitch. And it looks like two, one and two. One ball, two strikes, two outs, seven five lead for BC. They got two big runners out there in scoring position here in the top or the bottom of the sixth inning. One two pitch. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, seven five lead for BC. Rowan Bland setting ready. The 2-2 two, two pitch, down low, ball three, full count. First base is open if he loses him, but that brings up Mason Diamond, the catcher. He's had a big duck on this ball game. Big pitch here. Got to get his uh, three ball, two strike count, two outs. Got to bear down and get this out. The 3-2 pitch popped him up, but fouled out of play. The count stays full at 3-2. Full count, three balls, two strikes, two outs, seven five lead for the BC Cadets here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Rowan Blanton ready with three two pitch. Ground ball is short. Weekend Yeomans has it. Throws the first base in time. In and over. So they strand two big base runners here in the bottom of the six. No runs, a hit, no errors, two left. Do or die for the Yellow Jackets here on the road to BC. We head to the seventh. Score Ridge, BC 7, Wayne County 5. Check out the new Tim's Home Medical. New location, larger inventory. Tim's Home Medical, now located at 980 South, U.S. Highway 301 in Jessup, just to the left of Reinhardt's. They are dedicated to helping you with all your medical supplies and equipment needs, including Medicare chargeable items. Most are in stock, many can be delivered. Your health is their priority at Tim's Home Medical, now located on 301 South in Jessup, just to the left of Reinhardt's. Tim's Home Medical. Southeastern Gin and Peanut wants to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jacks the best of luck this season, says Go Wayne County. Started back in 1995 with Cotton Gin, then in 2004 built Peanut Buying Point. Southeastern Gin and Peanut buys peanuts from Premium Peanut in Douglas, Georgia, which they helped start back in 2015. For our cotton and peanut needs, simply call 912-366-0608. Southeastern Gin and Peanut's proud sponsor supporter of Wayne County Athletics. Southeastern Gin and Peanut says Go Wayne County. Once again, their number 912-366-0608. You've changed thousands of diapers, cut off hundreds of crust, played hours of peekaboo and duck duck goose because you'd do anything for your kids. That's why it's so important to protect them with life insurance from State Farm. I'm Robin Eubanks, and I will help make it easy and affordable to help you protect your family no matter what the future holds. Because for the people you'd do anything for, life insurance could mean everything. Call me today, State Farm Agent Robin Eubanks. And we want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets a winning season. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Number the seven, Kate Lynn leads it off for Wayne County. There's a chopper to third. Pitcher steals it. Throw. In time. One away. One gone in the seventh. Yeah. Brings up Jeb Craven. Again, Wayne County's last loss, February 24th. 10-0 in region play, but 
BC two outs away from getting a big region win here at home over the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. See if the Jackets can rally here. Pitch to Jeb Craven. They hit that one and on in the seventh. Time run comes to the plate for Wayne County in the seventh inning. Braves got rained out tonight. No Braves baseball tonight on Big Dog Country. Braves and Mets are rained out in Atlanta. Here's Garrison Grantham. Carson Shaver on deck for Wayne County. Top of the seventh. 7-5 seven, lead for the BC Cadets. Wayne with their backs to the wall here in the top of the seventh inning. Got to get off the deck. Pitch to Garrison Grantham. Outside ball one. One and oh. T.J. Windsor, the relief pitcher here for the B.C. Cadets. One ball and no strike count. The stretch, the pitch. The line outside ball through. The ball gets away. Runner going to second base, and he reaches second. Jeff Craven at second with one down. Jack is down 7-5. Two ball, no strike count to Garrison Grantham. And Isaiah Lee has moved to the on-deck circle. So Isaiah Lee will bat next. Two balls, one out, runner at second base, top of the seventh. Wayne Trail, 7-5. There's the stretch, the 2-2 pitch. Going on, and just got a piece of it stays alive, stays 2-2. Isaiah Lee on deck. Of the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Jeff Craven at second base, one down. Jackets need base runners and a runs here in the seventh inning. 2 2 count to Garrison Grantham on its way. That's up five ball for you. Three and two, a big payoff pitch coming to Garrison Grantham. Three ball, two strikes, one out. Winds are ready. The 3 2 pitch swung on and fall back. Garrison Grantham stays alive. It's a full count 3 2. Full count, three ball, two strikes, one out. A runner at second base. That's one of the runs we need. Need at least two. Three or four or five would be better. Down by two, seven, five. Big payoff pitch coming to Garrison Grantham, senior left fielder for Wayne County. Windsor stares in, has a sign. A big payoff pitch, here it comes. Swung on, hit down the line, but foul. Out of play. Grantham stays alive at three, two. Three ball, two strikes, one down. Game three Friday at Howard Boat. Wins are ready. The full count. Three two pitch. Five strike three. And there's two of them. Good looking pitch. Again. Anything close, you got to be swinging, folks. That's what they teach us a little later. Three two count, you got to be swinging. Can't leave it up to the man in blue. He's going to ring you up. And he just did for top number two. Here is Isaiah Lee. And Isaiah Lee's had some big hits at pinch hitting rolls this year. See if you can find another one here for Wayne County. We're down there. Final out. Top of the seven. Trailing seven five. And the ball hit over that left field wall is what we need right here. Palmer Lamb on deck for Wayne County. There's the stretch in the pitch to Isaiah. It's in for a strike. No ball is one strike. BC Cadets one out away from getting a big region win here. And handing the Wayne County their first region loss of the season. Still a two game lead. Again, they can't catch us, but we've still got to play Southeast Bullock, and they got New Hampstead. That's three straight wins for them next week. Southeast Bullock very much alive. Still in this hunt, still a chance to win first place. Here's the stretch and the 1 1 to Isaiah Lee. Line five on the play, one and two. Stay tuned for the Oakland Associates post game show after the ball game. 
still far from over. But we're down to a final pitch here. One ball, two strike count to Isaiah Lee. Top of the seven, trailing 7-5. Seven, Jeb Craven at second base with two outs. The one-two to Isaiah Lee. And Isaiah hits a ground ball to second base. for the baseman boots it. All hands safe. Then for third, we'll hold there. Inning continues. It'll be an air at second base. We get a big break there. Inning stays alive. Wayne County with the runners at the corners, first and third. Time runs on. And still breathing are the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. And again, they're going to get Eric Hodges to run at first base. And Palmer Lambs come to the plate for Wayne County. Time call. Coach out to the mound to talk to TJ Winslow. And the game was over. But second baseman Amari Burst boots it at second base and all hands safe. And see if that leads to a dramatic comeback win for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets here in Savannah. Palmer Lamb on the day popped out, single, and walked. He's been on base twice. On deck, Nick Thomas. Eric Hodge is going to run at first. See if they try to get him in scoring position. He's the time run here in the seventh inning. Palmer Lamb, senior center fielder at the plate. Jeb Craven at third. Eric Hodge is at first. Those are the time runs on base here in the top of the seventh. BC still an out away from victory here. T.J. Windsor to Palmer Lamb. Stretching the pitch, down low, ball one and zero. Oh. One ball, no strikes, two outs. Top of the seven, down seven five, still breathing. Here's the stretch, the one zero oh pitch, one and strike, one and one. One and one to Palmer Lamb, two down in the seventh. Tie runs on base. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball two, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Nick Thomas on deck. Windsor stares in. Two ball, one strike count. Here's the stretch, the 2-1 pitch. High ball three, three and one. A chance to load them up for Nick Thomas. Three ball, one strike count to Palmer Lamb. Two outs in the inning. The 3 1 pitch. Inside and low. Ball four. The bases are loaded. Bases loaded. Top of the seven. Three ducks on a pawn. We got to get two of them home at least. Love to get all three home. Here's Nick Thomas. He's had a day at the plate. Doubled in first and scored. Walked and scored in the second. Singled in the sixth. Line out the center in the fourth. Tie run at second base. Potential winning run at first base. An insurance run at home plate. All here for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets staying, trying to stay unbeaten in region play. And one of their better hitters at the plate in Nick Thomas. And if you wanted to pick one guy in this lineup in this in this spot at the plate, this is the guy I'm picking right here. Nick Thomas, lead off batter. A hitting machine. Need a hit right here. Base is loaded. Two outs. Top of the seven. Down by two. The pitch. In for a strike. No balls. One strike to Nick Thomas. Jeb Craven at third. Eric Hodges at second. Palmer Lamb at first. Base is loaded in the top of the seventh. And a 7-5 deficit for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. But we're trying to change all that right here with Nick Thomas at the bat. No balls, one strike, two eyes. The pitch, ground ball, bases right field. One run in, two runs in, we're tied. Almost three it in, seven, seven, ball game. Almost three it in, the Jackets get off the deck with a two-out rally, and we're tied and got a chance to take the lead. Nick Thomas delivers again. The hit machine scores two for Wayne County, and we're tied. 7-7 seven, seven at Benedictine High School. Oh, how sweet it is here, Deacon Yeomans, with the potential winning run at third base, an insurance runner at first base. Oh, they're stunned at B.C. 
They're stolen in Benedictine. The Wayne County Yellow Jackets have tied it here at BC. You can hear a pin drop on the other side. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Chance to take the lead. Here's Deacon Yeomans. Deacon with a high shot from the mound. Four stop charges, throws, not in time. Oh, there's a can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. They caught him out at first base. you got to be kidding me. And the inning comes to a close. Jack has had to leave, but the umpire says no. But we tie it. The score now at the end of six and a half. In the inning, two runs. One big hit. One big error. And we strand two. But we go on to the seventh bottom half. We've got a tie ball game. Wayne seven, PC seven. Now we got to get the extra innings. And coming to the mind is Jeb Craven. We'll be back with the bottom of the seven after the timeout. Prime South is not a bank on Wall Street. We're more Main Street. But we're a bank of many stories. Stories of customers reaching for the sky. Community banks are the preferred lender of people building their success story and make two out of every three small business loans. Our local lenders know your name and your story, which means more flexibility to help you turn the page. Prime South Bank. Find your prime. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. When it comes to winning in baseball, the home field advantage can give a team that winning edge. Hey, I'm Ricky Stringer. And I'm Peggy Hickey. We are your hometown realtors with Banks Real Estate. When it comes to selling your home or hunting for that dream home, using the hometown team will give you that winning edge. Come see us at Banks Real Estate at 462 East Cherry Street or call us at 912-559-2142. And go Go Yellow Yellow Jackets! Got in a wreck, fender bender, or just sideswipe that yellow pole at Walmart? Lysi's Body Shop can fix it. Your car, your choice of body shop. Check out our Google reviews and our new website. We at Lysi Body Shop are proud to announce our new location, 98 Dr. Town Road in Jessup. That's 98 Dr. Town Road in Jessup, across from the show mark. We have rentals available for our collision customers. Call us today at 912-385-6193. That's 912-385-6193, where we make Make it look like it never happened. Light sees body shop. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Bottom of the seventh tie game, 7-7, seven, seven, and Wayne County's bringing Jeb Craven to the mine. He'll face Mason Diamond, Cole Walker, Joseph Garner. Jack has need three outs and extra inning baseball here at Savannah. We ought to come back. To keep it it's alive. Here's the pitch by Jeb. And it's up high, ball one. One and oh. First time we've seen Jeb on that mine all the way back at Bird County, where he pitched two scoreless innings and struck out five or six batters. Real one oh pitch. Missed inside, ball two, two and oh. So a big spot here for Jeb Craven on the road in Savannah. Two ball, no strike count. The 2 0 pitch. High uh, ball three, three and 0. See if he can come back, settle down here. Three ball, no strike count. It's been a while since we've seen him on the mound. The 3 0 pitch. And it's inside ball four. Rudolph Walk, winning run on at first base for the BC Cadets. Rudolph Walk, never good in high school baseball. Brings up Cole Walker. you got to believe they're going to be sacrifice bunting here. Yeah, we turn to sacrifice bunting to double play. Back in inning number five, Eli Grantham killed the bunt, threw it to second, and we turn to double play. But Cole Walker is a big first baseman. I'm not sure if he can bunt. A lot of kids can't bunt, so we'll see how it plays here. Check the runner first base. Jeb with stretch in the pitch, and it's an easy strike. No ball with one strike. Tie game, 7-7. Seven, seven. Winning run at first base here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Oakland Associates post game show after the ball game. Finally scored the bunt. They pull back, and it's called a ball. One and one. 
one ball, one strike. Still can't believe they call it Deacon on first base. One ball, one strike count. We're in a bunt, and they do bunt down their first base line. They're going to let it roll foul. It's a one two count. Good job by Rowan Blanton, who's back down home plating Jeff Craven. The pitcher let it roll foul. And they count one ball, two strikes. Again, Wayne County needs extra baseball, extra innings, but need to prevent that runner from first base from scoring here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Tie game, 7 7. What a ball game. What a series. These two games, first two ball games have been exciting games to call, exciting games to watch. They're going to bunt with two strikes, and they pull back, and it's two and two. That's surprising. They were going to lay the bunt down. Again, if you foul that off, it's a strikeout. Two ball, two strike count. Wayne County needs odds here. Jeb Craven stares in. It's fresh. Again, it's showing bunt. And they bunt. They bunt down the first baseline. Fair ball. Sacrifice bunts will prove it. And there's one away. So a sacrifice bunt by Cole Walton. Two strikes. That's that's huge. Gets the runner in scoring position with one down. And here comes Joseph Garner, the shortstop. He was both with two on the day. Jeff Craven and Wayne County need two odds before that runner scores at second base. Jeb ready to stretch the pitch and then for a strike. No balls, one strike. It's wild. Is this is his game to win now or lose. Tie game, 7 7. Jeb Craven's game to win or lose. The 0 1 pitch. Breaking pitch stays inside, 1 and 1. And Cade Lynn's off the hook. Tate Altman's off the hook. Rowan Blant's off the hook. This is a tie game, 7-7. The 1-1 pitch from Jeb Craven. Swing and a miss. Type two, one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runner second. That's the winning run on the second base here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Jeb's 1-2 pitch. Popped him up, foul, went out of play. And that stays one and two. Again, Braves rained out, no Braves baseball, so you don't have to worry about that. Tuned in to the Big Dog 105.5 World Wide Web, YouTube, for this exciting game here from Savannah. Tied up 7-7, seven, seven. one two count. The pitch, fly ball, center field. Palmer Lamb is there. That's going to be out number two. Leonard Towns, Palmer Stewart comes in. He'll get back to second base. Two down in the inning. One out away from extra inning baseball here in Savannah. Here's Ike Ross. Ike Ross, 0 for 3. Flat out to right. Flat out to center. Grounded out to third. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. What a big hit by Nick Thomas. To tie this game up. And now we're one out away from going extra innings here in Savannah. Jeb Craven stares in, has the sign. Here's the stretch. And Tom called as the batter stepped out. So no pitch. 7-7 seven, seven ball game in Savannah. Jack is trying to stay unbeaten. Gets off the deck and scores two in the seventh to extend this ball game. Here's the stretch in the pitch. Swing and a miss on a fastball. Strike one. No balls. One strike. Two outs. Jeb Craven on the mound here for the Wayne County Yellow Jackets. Trying to get us the extra innings. The stretch. The 0 1 pitch. Fly ball. Base in right field. And this is going to be the ball game. Here's the throw, not in time. Final score, BC wins at 8 steps. The winning streak comes to a close. A walk-off single by Ike Ross, the right center field. Final score, BC 8, Wayne County 7, back with the Oak Point of Soldiers postgame show after the ball game. Or after the timeout. Do you know why most people don't invest outside work or at all? 
because they don't know where to start and they don't know who to talk with. If this is you, give me a call. Hi, this is Sean O'Quinn. I can help set up a plan, no matter where you are in life, to get you on a suitable path to a sound financial future. Give me a call, Sean O'Quinn, at 912-385-1000, or stop by the office at 212 South 1st Street, right here in Jessup. That number again is 912-385-1000. Attention, Yellow Jacket fans. With spring fast approaching, that means baseball season is getting into full swing. That also means it's garden time. The trademark carries a wide variety of garden seed, plants, and flowers, along with mulch, pine straw, and fertilizer. So when you start planting those flowers in the yard or getting that garden ready, come see us at the trademark across from the drive-in or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. And go get them, Jackets. Hopple Farms opened their summer farm market in 1995, selling locally grown fresh produce to the folks in Wayne and surrounding counties. They're continuing that tradition and will be opening later this spring with a full line of fresh vegetables, locally grown beef, pork, and chicken provided by Hunter Cattle Company. The store will also be stocked with Georgia-grown jams, jellies, preserves, and fresh-baked breads. Don't forget to visit the sweet shop, ham-dipped Bluebell ice cream cones and milkshakes. Go to Wayne County's favorite to buy fresh produce. Spring summer hours of operation will be announced soon. That's Poplar Farms in Odom. Check out their Facebook, poplarfarms.com. As a busy wife and mother, I'm all about convenience. If it can make my life a little easier or save me time, well, it's hard to put a price on that. That's one of the things I love most about Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. I can get everything I need. Auto, home, life, even banking all in one place. Throw in a local agent who's always there for me, and that's why I choose Georgia Farm Bureau. Always the home team. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance. Visit us online at gfbinsurance.com. Wayne County High School Sports, FM 105.5 WIFO. Welcome back. Oakland Associates Post Game Show. BC Cadets win it by a final of 8 to 7. 8 runs, 11 hits for the Cadets. 7 runs, 11 hits for the Yellow Jackets. First loss since February the 24th. So the 16 game winning streak is over. Jackets fall to 10 and 1 in region play. BC Cadets improved to 8 and 3. And again, Wayne County knows that they're going to only have as many losses after Friday. So hopefully we can give them a fourth loss. But if they win Friday, they pull to within one. And again, they're not going to lose the rest of the way because they play New Hampstead. Southeast Bullock and Wayne County will battle next week for three games. Wayne County still controls its own destiny. All they got to do is win out, really win three out of four, and they got the number one seed. But again, still up in the air as BC wins a big game here in Savannah. Coach McDonald going to join us here on the when the Soldiers post game show, get his thoughts. Uh, first of all, Coach, we played two games, and they've been two heck of, heck of a ball game. Great competition. Yeah, you, you expect it to be like this. I think uh, we let this one slip away. and You know, we have multiple opportunities to get a big hit. There were two outs, and we just wasn't able to get it. And, you know, there's a lot of adrenaline in this game, and, you know, there's high stakes at it. But I, I got to remind our kids that everybody's chasing us. So uh, we still set the standard in the region, and we control what we, we can control. And, you know, we just need to win products. Yeah, we control our own destiny. But the only problem is, that, like I said, we know for a fact we're going to know how many losses BC have after Friday because they're playing yeah. New Hampshire. Well, we yeah. got a battle with Southeast Bullock. who's still in the hunt as well. But yeah. first of all, credit to your team getting off the deck in that seventh inning. Uh, that was yeah. a big hit by Nick Thomas. Battle uh, again. Uh, they just hit a good pitch, and uh, I got to ask you, you had a better view than I did. You were over the dock. I thought Deacon was safe. He was safe, 100% yeah. safe. Man. I, I, mean, hey, man. I just can't believe they called him out. Okay. Bass and Deacon yeah. is. I, thought, I mean, yeah. high chopper, I thought he was yeah, there. I, I thought off the bat he was safe, and when Coach Henson said he's safe, he's safe. I can tell you. But we go back and look at video and make sure, and, you know, I'm going to look at this one. He'll be safe. And, you know, that's just unfortunate. You know, that one in and you know, they start rolling out. You know, I'm not going to let – I'm not going to let – Grown adults come on the field and fist pump in front of our kids. That's just that we're grown people trying to coach a game of baseball. Let the kids play, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up for our kids. Tell our kids to get off the field. You know, if anybody anybody on our staff, if one of our coaches ever talks to another player in a degrading manner, they're fired when we get back. And you know, I, I, I've spoken with a head coach after game. I've been doing this way too long. And you know, you see sportsmanship in the game is ruining the game. The the dugout chance and the, the the just the you know, our, I don't let our kids do it. And sometimes it seems unfair, and they wonder why. But, you know, I respect the game way too much. And to say anything out of our dugout directed towards the other team, and, you know, 
again, that, that, it was like that Tuesday, it was like that Thursday, or, or it was like that tonight, we expect to be like that Friday. But, again, we just got to control what we want to control. And, you know, again, I give our kids credit for getting off the deck. Our pitch has been lights out, but just observing behind home plate, it didn't look like Cade was sharp. No. It didn't look like Tate was sharp. Tate's always quickly to come back. Yeah. He took a lot. Of, he just didn't look right tonight. Yeah, for some yeah. You, you know, when we, we call Paul's off the plate or away and you missed down the middle, those, those top three or four hitters in our lineup are going to capitalize, and they did. And, you know, especially that first inning, you know, we, we gave them a free one on the, the leadoff hitter, and then they capitalized on that, you know. Again, you go up four, you got to come in and you got to go one, two, three. So uh, we didn't do that tonight. And again, K didn't look sharp, but we still got, you know, we managed our pitch count tonight and we still got everybody uh, ready for Friday. So again, we should be in the driver's seat as far as pitching wise Friday because, like yeah. I said, they're, they're top two guys are gone, so yeah. don't know what they got left. But just encourage everybody to come on out Friday and get out some very big win. Like I say, we control our own destiny. Uh, it's been a long time since we lost because we've got to go all the way back yeah. to February 24. So again, when the streak's coming, come to an end. But the good news is, there's a lot of baseball yet to be played. We can throw our own destiny. Still trying to win that number one seed. Yeah. Just want to encourage everybody to come out Friday and just yeah. get a big win Friday at home. And that's what you get into when you get these small regions and, and you know, you get, you know, they're top heavy with just a few real good teams and nobody's ever beaten anybody up. It, you know, it's really like playoff baseball with the last two weeks with everything getting magnified. And, you know, it's good for us. I, you know, I, I, I there's nobody more competitive than me, and I hate losing. I, but but maybe this is the right thing to happen to, happen to us right now. So, uh, again, we were in the same position last year, had to win on, on, on game three and, and come in and had a huge game. So, again, we'll get a chance to relax tomorrow and get ready to go on Friday. Yeah. That live music just try to yeah. prevent us from talking because there's nobody yeah. in the stand. So, my yeah. friends, I showed you some stuff also yeah. goes down here in Savannah. But don't have to bring this – don't have to come to Savannah no more. That's the good news Correct. about this season. Yeah. You get to go home to Howard Bell Warren Field, big crowd Friday night. Coach, congrats on a great season. We'll see you Friday. Yeah, Let's good. go get them. Appreciate it. Again, that's going to do it for the post-game show. Again, final score, BC wins it by a final 8-7. Game three, Friday night at the Bow. Come on out and join us again. Miguel Bell will have the, everything going to the concession stand. Hot dogs, hamburgers, sausage dogs. Come hungry. Come watch a big game. Game three of the series. Wayne County and the BC Cadets Friday night at the Bow. Until tomorrow morning for local news, local sports, Bob Morgan saying so long, everybody. Have a great night. Are you looking for an insurance company that you can call and talk to a live person? Are you looking for an insurance company where you can walk in and talk to an agent? Are you looking for an insurance company that offers multiple companies so they can try and get you the best rate? If you said yes to any of these, then you need to call or come by Oakwind and Associates Insurance Financial Services. We offer multiple companies so we can find the best fit for you. Give us a call at 385-1000 or stop by our office at 212 South First Street right here in Jessup. Wayne Memorial Hospital wishes the Yellow Jackets the best of luck as they pursue region and state championships. The hard work and dedication of our coaches and student athletes has been instrumental to your success. The staff at Wayne Memorial Hospital is also dedicated to providing and delivering the best possible health care to everyone who comes through our doors. We consider it an honor and a privilege to be entrusted with your health care needs. Caring for the community isn't just our motto, it's what we love to do. Wayne Memorial Hospital, the official health care provider of the Yellow Jackets. Sheriff Chuck Mosley and his staff want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season, hope they can bring back that state championship trophy. Sheriff Mosley has made a commitment to battle the drug dealers in Wayne County, and he and his team have joined forces with the Jessup PD for a joint task force in the war against drugs in Wayne County. What the department needs and wants your help. If you know or see any illegal drug activity, Sheriff Chuck Mosley encourages you to simply call the Sheriff's Department at 427-5970 or the Jessup PD at 427-1300. Sheriff Mosley asks that everyone do their part in helping fight the drugs in Wayne County. Sheriff Mosley again wishing the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best of luck this season. Is your checking account broke? These days, every little bit helps. So if you can eliminate monthly checking charges, why wouldn't you? At Interstate Credit Union, we'll help you afford everyday living with our low to no cost products and services. Call 800-822-1124 or go online at interstatecu.org to experience a better way to bank with Interstate Credit Union. Branches conveniently located in Jessup, Baxley, Brunswick, Hazelhurst, Midway, and now Douglas. Federally insured by NCUA.
WIFO FM, Jessup, Big Dog Country, the sports leader in Southeast Georgia.